And good morning. Welcome now to Popper Bluff Senior High School, Bobby Strindful Field. I'm Frankie Castillo. Joining us now to begin our baseball game, doubleheader, head coach John David Patillo and coach the Mules are back at it again, 12 hours away from the ball field. A big win last night, and here we go, a doubleheader against Van Buren and then again against West Plains. Right. We get started again. We've got a beautiful day, and I'm really excited about today. Really excited indeed. Sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky. So today we're going to see a very good team out of Van Buren. They're coming in six and three. What do you know about them? Uh, no, quite a bit. You know, a lot of their travel players have played against and with some of our kids. And so we well aware and Coach Nicholson, you know, good, good guy and uh, former mule assistant here. So uh, we know a lot about them and, and they know a lot about us. A lot of respect there. And what's it like going up against a former coaching uh, part of the coaching staff back in the day here at Bluff? Well, it's it's always good. We got a good relationship. Uh, I got to referee some of the basketball games for Van Buren this winter. And of course, he's the athletic director. So we know each other through. You did a good job at refing the ball games, right? Always. Okay. okay. Always. Absolutely. So let's talk about your team. A big win last night. You know, we talked about Ten Chavez doing a great job on shortstop today. He'll be back in the lineup. Is that right? Yeah, he's going to hit today, too. And so uh, the way our lineup uh, turned out, he, he'll be hitting and uh, hitting in the ninth spot and playing shortstop. And uh, he had a good game last night. He, he had a couple hits, I think, in the JV game as well. So. I know you went back and forth on this topic pretty much all morning. So on the bump here today, who's it going to be and why? Dylan Bratcher. Uh, we just want to get our, you know, get our day started off well. We got two good opponents. We got four or five pitchers that are going to need to throw and and be ready to throw against whoever we put them out there against. Was there one area that last night you wanted to see the Mules kind of clean up before today, following the win last night? Yeah, just our approach when we face somebody that wasn't throwing very hard he's left-handed uh the kid from cape and we kind of we really didn't get our bats rolling until about the third inning and uh we talked about that and how we've got to get our bats going quicker than that we got to see what we're going to go up against and be prepared for it better than what we were I know that we were aggressive on the base pads yesterday, but one area that we played really well at, and that was on defense, no errors. How critical would that be today to do the same thing? Well, it's very critical. And a big part of that is when, you're, when your pitcher's throwing strikes and throwing the ball where he wants it. You know, that, that really helps your defense. Then it all works together. And Noah threw really well yesterday, had a good day. In the outfield here today, we're going to see the wins as normal picking up. So who can we expect in the outfield for your mules in game one? Well, we've got uh, Huffman and right and Dylan and uh, center, and we've got uh, Settle and left. You know, yesterday it seemed like the uh, bottom of the lineup really came alive. Season good, a couple of big hits and a, a crucial, a critical RBI late in the ball game. Today, where do you think the production may come from? Will it come in the top three hitters, maybe the middle three? What do you think? Well, we just hope it's all, all phases. All of the above. Uh, all of the above. Uh, yeah, but yes, season good. Had a really good day yesterday. Uh, he's going to go ahead and DH this game because he'll probably pitch at some point. Either, you know, we might bring him in this game or he may start the second game. So uh, we're going to let him DH and, and let Cameron play left field. And, um, you know, I think um, our kids are ready and, and, you know, we're ready to go throughout our lineup. And then, of course, you know, when it comes to the overall pitch count for Bratcher, obviously not looking too far ahead, but two games coming up today. We've got three big games next week, two conference ball games on the road. Will there be a pitch count this afternoon on any of your pitchers here in game one or game two? Not necessarily. We, we think we can, uh, whoever, whoever's throwing well, we can ride them through uh, as long as we need them. And if I can just say one thing quickly, uh, as far as having a good teammate, I think Miles Johnson is showing that today. He was out yesterday, out again today. I've seen him all over the place, helping out where he can. What does that mean to your coaches, knowing that this kid may not be playing because of injury, but still being a very good teammate? Well, that's just it. He's part of our team. He's uh, a big, vital part. And you know, when he's not playing, then we expect him to be out here and, and helping out. And, and you know, he's very. Uh, very apt to do that and good kid. All right, Coach, best of luck to you today to beat Van Buren and get that lucky number 13th win of the season. In your mind, what's it going to come down to? Well, really, I think we're going we're gonna to have to 
not only play clean baseball, but I, th I think we just need to outscore to these guys. I think they can score and put some runs on the board, and we're going to have to outscore them. All right, Coach, best of luck to you. Go get them. We'll see you guys afterwards. What do you say? All right. All right, Head Coach John David Patillo joining us live to begin, and now we're going to walk over to him. Don't go anywhere. We'll get Coach Nicholson as he uh, gets up here. We'll have him walk over here next. We'll get him live on the camera. Good friend of mine out of Van Buren, and this guy, let me tell you, I'm going to say this now because – Unlike Coach Mathis, he will get me a lineup pretty early. No, I'm kidding around, Coach. Don't worry about it. Coach Nicholson, welcome to Popper Bluff, back to Popper Bluff. And we were talking about your team, you guys coming in 6-3. and three. Very good baseball team on your side. Walk us through so far your season as you guys go up against Bluff in about 20 minutes. Well, uh, first, a great day for it. We're excited for it. We're excited to be here. Uh, we're pretty up and down so far. We're, we're playing some pretty good baseball. I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to turn that corner right here. Uh, had some last couple games been pretty good. Uh, uh, we, we've been playing fast. We, we like to play with our feet, uh, we're playing, playing real fast, playing hard. Uh, hoping just sneak a couple today in this good summer weather, fi finally starting to get some spring weather. You're not kidding. And I was talking about your team as we began. And one thing, this is your second season as the head coach at Van Buren. So first and foremost, what have you learned from season one to this season? Take a breath. Take a breath. <laughs> Figure it out, regroup, and then go attack whatever you got in front of you. Um, I think my first year, I, it was uh, almost pregame jitters all the time. And now it's... Uh, realize that we're dealing with uh, high school kids we're dealing with the high school atmosphere we got to we got to take a breath and realize that why we're really here and then go from there what are some strengths that you have seen so far you only guys have only played nine games so far this year but those nine games have been tough games you've gotten six wins so far what are some of your strong suits here midway through this baseball season so far uh, so far whenever we're competitive around the zone we, we find a way to put the bat on the ball we'll, we'll play fine uh, we will play a little small ball every once in a while whenever we need it, especially on this turf that'll be fun to play so we're, we're hoping to really use our legs and stay competitive around the zone and we'll be okay I was gonna ask you so far through your first nine games have you guys had a game on turf before today uh, we played at Farmington uh, I think it was last week, played on turf. Uh, of course, they got turf in the outfield also. Sure. And so it's, it's a whole new world for our kids. I was explaining to them that be careful that ball will bounce over you. And, and, and of course, that doesn't happen on dirt and grass. And so it's, it's new, but I've talked to them. They, they love the idea of it's a true hop. It's a, it'll, stay, it'll stay where it's at as long as there's not a weird seam or a rock or you know, something random like that. But no, this will be, uh, I guess, game two, I guess, on turf. What's it like coming back to Popper Bluff where you got your first start as an assistant, walking in? and coaching from the opposing side. I know you did this last year again, and Bluff you know, got the win by one run, so obviously I know your team is out for re retribution here today, but what's it like coming back to Bluff? It, um, of course, I'm not from here, but it, it feels like coming back. It feels like coming back to home, uh, especially uh, coming out as a college kid, straight out of college to here, uh, learned about, a lot about myself, learned about, a lot about how I was going to coach, uh, just being here and being around the guys that I was with. Uh, we had some good years here. I'm, I was, it was a great time. I'm happy to be back. Maybe we should just postpone this game and we all lit up and go fishing. What do you say? <laughs> I'm in for it. Pretty nice yeah, out it's here a, It's today. a good day. And for folks who don't know about your team, give us the uh, sense here. Who's going to be on the bump for you guys to begin the ball game? Uh, Brady Smith is going to start for us here against Bluff. Uh, he's a sophomore this year, a uh, long, lanky guy, got a lot of potential. We're, we're excited to see what he builds into in the next couple of years. So we'll break it down. One final question, Coach, before you start taking I.O. To beat Bluff and to make it nine wins on the season, in your mind, what's it going to come down to the most? playing good baseball is what it's, it's I, most of the time what I tell the guys is whoever plays catch the best whether it's coming in from the outfield coming in from the infield play catch we'll, we'll be fine we'll be all right coach best of luck to you go get them and good luck to you not only in the first game but also later on today when you guys take on West Plains also appreciate it man thank you, you bet you coach Nicholson joining us live from Van Buren so there you go there are our pregame interviews with both coaches we are now under the 20 minute mark until we begin the first pitch here today we're going to finish up here watching Popper Bluff here take IO and then we will turn it over to the Van Buren Bulldogs they will begin IO as well 
And then we're going to begin our first pitch coming up top of the hour. Later on today, we are expecting temps to be around 80 degrees. And by the way, today only the Mules Baseball Booster Club, they're going to be doing some barbecue later on today. So if you're going to be coming out to the ball game for a donation to help out the Mules Baseball team, get yourself some awesome barbecue courtesy of the Mules Baseball Booster Club. And then, of course, they are doing that mega raffle going on later today as well. Well, they will do the drawings during the first and second game. So make sure and come out and be a part of this atmosphere here today. Not one, but two games. It is a doubleheader, the Mules against Van Buren. And then later today, about 4 o'clock, it'll be the same Mules against the Zizzers out of West Plains. We're going to take a three-minute timeout. We'll come right back. You're watching and listening to Mules Baseball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. All right, welcome back now to Mules Baseball. Boy, what an afternoon that we have today. The Mules against not one, but two quality teams of Van Buren and then West Plains. Joining me on the mic here for just a few minutes, he is the PA address announcer. We're talking about Brandon Spain. And today, first and foremost, boy, your boys, plural boys, pitched some good ball games yesterday. One at the high school level, the other one at junior high level, both teams getting a big win yesterday. Yeah, it was really exciting to get home uh, last night and to be able to have a conversation with both of them and them breaking their 
uh, their game's down, and so is it. Um, hated not to be able to be at Graham's game. Of course, they're playing two games today as well, as long as as far as the uh, uh, high school is. And so uh, Amanda and her dad are over there. But yeah, it was an exciting time. Uh, Noah had a great game last night for the Mules and picked up six strikeouts, and uh, Graham picked up seven strikeouts for the junior high Mules. And so, uh, you know, a little. Uh, uh, friendly competition right there between brothers, but man, they were both supporting each other and they're each other's biggest fan. And so, yeah, it was an exciting conversation last night in the Spain household and uh, just being able to break everything down and come away with wins. Absolutely. And let's talk about here today what we're going to see as we see not one, but two quality teams. Van Buren first up, they are coming in six and three, but make no mistake about it, Coach Nicholson, he'll have his team ready to go. And by the way, last night's win for Bluff already matches last season's win total for the season. And we're about halfway through this year. So a lot more wins to go, I believe, in the future for the Mules. Absolutely. You know, it's an exciting time to be a Mule fan for baseball. And they're playing really well right now. They're gelling as a team. And it's an exciting. We've got two big games today but with Van Buren and West Plains. And then we hit, you know, uh, another big uh, week. Uh, two conference games, I believe, next week, uh, Thursday and Friday with Jackson and Dexter, then a big game in Greenville, I believe, on Tuesday. And so uh, a big opportunity for the Mules to continue to add to that win column today. They don't need to take anything off. They need to come out and give everything they have in both of these games right now. We know Coach uh, Nicholson obviously got to start here in Bluff, and uh, he knows about the Mule baseball way. They, he knows uh, the proud tradition that we have here. He's a he's, uh, very smart coach. So he he knows what it's going to take for his team to, to come out with the win, and so we, we don't need to take him for granted. And at all. after this ball game, I was told that you're going to make your solo radio debut in the second ball game doing Van Buren and West Plains. Is that right? All by yourself, from what I was told. No, no. Uh, you <laughs> you obviously made that up. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good at making up false news or fake news sometimes on the fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. I tell you what, but, but we can also agree that today, man, we're going to see that wind gusting out to left field today, but obviously. 81 degrees later on today. Does it get much better on a Saturday afternoon at mid-April? I mean, it is a beautiful day right now for baseball and a great day. I mean, I mean, it really wouldn't be us playing baseball if we didn't have a little wind. I mean, we pretty much dealt with wind all season I remember long. one game where we didn't have any wind and somebody couldn't make the ball game. Let me just tell you, it was a nice feeling then. Maybe I should leave then because uh, every game I've been at, we've had to deal with some wind, but you know, hey, that's something they've grown grown accustomed to. And so hopefully they'll just get out here and take care of business here and jump on them quick. Well, you just point at me when it's your time to go on the mic and I'll stop talking and we'll throw it over to the PA address announcer, Brandon Spain, for the ball game. What do you say? Hey, you, I, I follow your lead. So well, when give you, me a final score today. First game, Van Buren, Bluff. Give me your prediction, final score. Oh, man, I, I love With the Bratcher on the mound, I'm going to say the Mules get it done 8-1. to one. Oh, I, I like that. I like that. Um, I'm going to go 10, 10, 10, nothing and five. Wow, 10, zero and five. There you go. I like that. A bold prediction. We'll go get them, my friend. Hopefully you're right. <laughs> oh, so All right. right. Brandon Spain joining us live. We'll let him get over to his duties coming up top of the hour as the Mules will take on the Van Buren Bulldogs. By the way, we were told that we might get started about 11.05 here this morning. The good news is, even though we're going to start maybe five minutes late, we're at home. So that's some good news right there. Not much travel. Well, I don't. I won't be traveling very much. Tim, on the other hand, he'll be doing a little bit of travel, but nevertheless, he's okay with that. As it is a just an amazing day for high school baseball. Let's check the uh, forecast right now. The official forecast for today: sunny skies, 82 degrees later on today. Right now, the game time temp is going to be about 70. That's where we were yesterday. We were at 72 by the time we began at 431 yesterday. Today, we're going to be close to that already. It'll be the Mules taking on the Van Buren Bulldogs. The Bulldogs, by the way, they are coming in the ball game six and three. We're going to break down their ball, their season so far. They had a big win the other day against East Carter. We got a chance to watch East Carter play live at Lake of the Ozarks. And by the way, East Carter knocked off a very good team at Camdenton. They had a very good game against them. I'm sorry, Park Hill South, rather. They were able to knock them off. 
And so we know East Carter's pretty good. Van Buren also really good. They were able to knock off the Redbirds earlier this season, a couple of weeks ago at that. And now, or make that the, the other day actually, Van Buren, they are getting their last minute warm-ups ready to go. The Mules are doing the exact same. We're going to go over all of the lineup here in just a moment. We will do that, and the opening pitch is coming your way live from Bobby Strenfel Field in Poplar Bluff. By the way, today it is the Mega Raffle, and I bought my tickets. You buy your tickets, Tim? Not yet he didn't. I gave 20 bucks and I got five tickets. I seen Miss Deanna Bratcher there at the gate. And make sure if you're in the arena or in the field here today, make sure and go by and get your tickets. Only a few more left to sell. And then later on today, they'll be doing the drawings for those amazing prizes. It is the Mega Raffle. They've also got barbecue going on just to our left underneath the press box. They are doing up a lot of barbecue for a donation all the money raised that goes right to the Mules baseball program. And believe me, I've seen hamburgers, I've seen hot dogs. You don't want to miss out the Mules Booster Club, the Baseball Booster Club, going above and beyond like they always do for the baseball program. They'll be doing up their barbecue today, so make sure and take part in that if you can. Let's talk about our lineups here today. Let's start with the visitors from Van Buren. Once again, they're being coached by Jake Nicholson, his second season as the head baseball coach. And let's talk about who will be starting offensively for the Bulldogs. The pitcher today, it is Brady Smith. He is a sophomore. Batting second is Benjamin Hawkins. Batting third will be Chase Carter. Batting cleanup today is Noah Keeney. Batting fifth is Devin DeWolf. Batting sixth will be Gage Van Landingham. Batting seventh is Hayes at Townsley. Batting eighth, it'll be Nathan Smith. And batting ninth, it'll be Zach Decina. That'll be the offensive lineup here for the Van Buren Bulldogs. Looking defensively at the Mules, only a couple of changes from yesterday. One of those changes, we're going to see Cameron settle. He was at third base yesterday. He'll be at left field here today. Of course, Dylan Hall, the commander, will be out there in center field. And then Cade Huffman, he played first yesterday. He'll be out at right field coming up here today. Greenwall was the DH man yesterday. He'll be at first base coming up today. Tabanera stays at second. Ryan Tanchevez is going to be at shortstop, his second straight start. And then Noah Spain was yesterday's pitcher. He'll be at third base behind the plate. You got Bryce Dobbs on the mound. It'll be the senior. It'll be Dylan Brancher. And we'll give you his numbers coming up as well as we get ready for the opening pitch live in Poplar Bluff. Mules got the win yesterday, 12-1, to 1, or make that 10-1, to 1, rather. They are now 12-5 on the season, 5-0 in the SEMO Conference first time since 2017. Mules are looking for a great few days of high school baseball coming up. We've got two games today and then looking ahead to next week. We've got Tuesday, we've got Thursday and Friday. All three games are gonna be on the road. We've got Greenville, we've got Jackson and then Dexter one or make that six days from right now and those three games will be on the road. And we're going to attempt to video stream all three, including Greenville. Not sure how it's going to work out yet, but we're sure going to give it our best effort coming up next Tuesday live in Greenville. All right, let's take a timeout, and we'll come back here as we are getting ever so closely. We are about 10 minutes away from the first pitch live in Poplar Bluff. Let's step away. Let's take a four-minute timeout, and we'll come back right before the top of the hour. You're watching and listening to Mules Baseball Live on the Southeast Sign Graphics Mules Radio Network. Kevin's Auto and Tire is now a certified dealer for Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. Kevin's Auto is also a full-service garage from brakes and oil changes to electrical and AC. Don't forget they also offer custom muffler work. It's Kevin's Auto and Tire, located on Cravens Road in Poplar Bluff. Imagine playing sports, reading, or driving without needing contact lenses or glasses. The eye LASIK procedure at Eye Care Specialists could be the answer to help you improve your vision. Call Eye Care Specialists to schedule a free screening.
here's a quick and easy test to see if you need new tires. Insert a penny upside down and if you see the top of Honest Abe's head, your tread is too low. If you don't, you're good to go. So when it's time for new tires, remember, Christian Automotive and Tire, keeping you safe on the road. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system, plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions' comprehensive maintenance plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. All right, so we are getting closer now. One minute till the top of the hour, and we are about ready for Mules Baseball coming your way. We are just waiting for a few more things, and we should get started at about 11.05 or so coming up today. As soon as we get the green light, we will throw things over to Brandon Spain. He'll give us the official lineups here coming up today, and then we will have your national anthem. We've got three games on the menu today. We're going to bring you two of those games live on the radio, also Facebook and YouTube. Our schedule goes as follows. It'll be Popper Bluff. They will take on Van Buren to begin with later on this morning. And then we'll have Van Buren. They will take on West Plains in the second game. We'll break for that game. It'll give us an opportunity to get our lineup set for the next ball game, go eat, do whatever we got to do, and then come back in the afternoon cap at 4 o'clock or so, or just after 4. It'll be Bluff taking on West Plains later on this afternoon. And, of course, Popper Bluff. We've got all kinds of uh, great things going on here today. What's so funny, guys? If we're going to be laughing, what's so funny? Let's, let's not be bashful here. Sure, sure, I'll leave my equipment in between games. Absolutely will. I'm not going to retake it down. I know I made that comment last night, and you know what? The equipment was just the way I left it last night. I love it. Van Buren coming in, by the way, 6-3 and three on the season. They are averaging six runs a ball game, giving up four runs a ball game. Looking at the Mules on the other side, they are coming in so far 4-0 and this season at home. 
Bluff is 4-0. Van Buren 1-1 away so far this season. Popper Bluff averaging about nine runs a ball game, giving up about five runs per ball game as well. Let's look at some of the games that, that Van Buren has played so far this season. They've got wins over South Pemiscot. They've also beat Kennett as well. We beat Kennett as did they. They beat them 6-5 to five earlier back in March. They've also got wins over Willow Springs. They've got wins over Naylor, Ellington. They beat them 7-0. The Mules also beat Ellington. And, of course, East Carter as well. They beat them 13-4 back on April the 11th. The only losses so far this season includes the Twin Rivers, and they're having a really good season this year. They lost 7-3. They lost to Farmington 10-3. And that is their only losses so far this season. They also lost to Alton. They lost 6-3. to three. So that is the breakdown as far as who the Van Buren Bulldogs have lost to this season. Let's talk about the Mules and where we stand right now this year. The common opponents for the Mules and Van Buren is very similar. They've the Mules have beaten Kennett 13-12 on a walk-off. And then, of course, they have also beaten Ellington 11-1. So you get the idea. These two teams, honestly, very evenly matched. The losses so far for the Mules have come against state-ranked Festus. They've lost to DeSoto, and they lost to Green County Tech, Paragould, Arkansas. They've also lost to Park Hill South and Pacific. Pacific, by the way, another very good a Class 6 school. So those are the wins. Those are the losses here today for the Mules and the Bulldogs. And we are awaiting for the official announcements to uh, get, get ready to go for the ball game. We're waiting for, I believe, we're waiting for the other umpire who had some issues, vehicle issues. That is why we are getting started just a little bit later than what we were anticipating earlier today. I do know that Eric Lambert, he'll be behind the plate coming up today for the ball game, this first ball game. And of course, as soon as we get word of who the second umpire will be, we'll make sure and pass it on to you. I believe it's going to be Jimmy Smith. But once he gets here, we'll be able to uh, tell you for sure. So we're in a kind of delay, so to speak. I guess the only good news is at least the delay that we are experiencing. We're not at Lake of the Ozark, so therefore, even if we're here past 7 o'clock, it's not going to take us long to get home and uh, get settled back down. So let's go to a quick break here. I see Kent Keith, our athletic director, walking around down in front of, or I should say in front of the backstop here, waiting to see what he is going to do, waiting to see if the other umpire has made their way into the field area. Haven't seen it yet. So what we'll do is we'll go to another timeout. We're going to go to a two-minute break. We'll come right back, and we'll get clarification from Mules Athletic Director Kent Keith. If we do see the other umpire come back or come in earlier, we'll jump back on. In the meantime, let's take a two-minute break. We'll come back. We'll have much more coming up. It is Mules Baseball Live on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling. You're in the zone with Baldwin Toyota. Today's spotlight is the 2024 Toyota Tundra. This truck is a powerhouse with its available iForce Max engine. That's right. It's built like a champion from the ground up. Its powertrain frame and suspension work together, providing an available max towing capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. With Tundra, you can haul with confidence. Head to Baldwin Toyota and experience the power of the 2024 Toyota Tundra for yourself. And now back to Mules action. Oh, Carmo, there's another PB Realty sign. Yes, I know, dear. PB Realty signs are everywhere. Another one. And it says Ragazzi Farm. 
Did you know PB Realty and Legacy Farm and Land Specialist have three offices in Poplar Bluff, plus offices in Donovan, Piedmont, and even Branson? This is Lucy Wheeler with PB Realty. Call me today, 573-785-7600, or my cell, 429-3243. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. All right, 11.06 here on this Saturday afternoon. It's 68 degrees in Poplar Bluff, and we are moments away from the first pitch. Both teams are warmed up, and it looks like they are about ready to go. Let's talk about our coaching staff here for the Mules, and they are led by John David Patillo in his second season as the head baseball coach. His assistant coaches are Tyler Mathis, also Casey Beast, and Tyler McLevain. Those are the coaching staff for the Popper Bluff Mules. Meanwhile, for the Bulldogs of Notre Dame, Jacob Nicholson, the head coach, in his second season as the head coach of Van Buren. His assistants are Spencer Burnham and Corey Ricker. Those are the two coaches, assistant coaches, that is, for the Bulldogs out of Van Buren. All right, so as we get ready for Mules baseball, we told you that the starting pitcher today for the Mules is going to be none other than Dylan Bratcher. And it was kind of unique because we got the lineups here this morning at about 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. or so. And when we got here, the lineup was completely changed top to bottom. So before we got started today, we were under the impression that Ryland season good was going to get the start here today against Van Buren, but it looks like that he might end up and get the start for the second ball game. That is unofficial right now, but in the nevertheless, here's what we know. Dylan Bratcher is going to get the start here today, making his seventh start of the season. He is 4-1 so far this year. He has pitched 24 and two-third innings, as Bratcher has. He has given up 21 hits, 16 runs, seven earned. He has walked nine, struck out 34. His earned run average, by the way, is 1.986. So his ERA, a hair under two, and that is where the Mules are gonna go for today, at least initially, and we'll see what happens coming up when the senior Dylan Bratcher makes his seventh start of the season and remember, he is 4-1 and one so far this year. And for the Mules, Poplar Bluff going to have their work cut out for them as they get ready to take on a very good team out of Van Buren. You look at the team, Poplar Bluff in general, as a team, they are averaging 348 as a team. And, of course, they've got so far four triples on the year, but one teammate, one person, has all four of those triples. His name is Kobe Greenwall. Led off yesterday in the first inning with a triple, a one-out triple. He will be stranded at third base yesterday, but he would add three more hits yesterday. He was one of our player of the games, and the other player of the game was Noah Spain. Spain yesterday was an absolute beast on the mound. He would come out, throw 59 pitches overall. He went six innings. Six innings strong, he threw 59 pitches. And by the way, the last four innings that he pitched only threw 29 pitches combined. Pretty impressive, right? The first two innings he pitched, he threw 30 pitches combined. And then in the final four innings, he threw just 29 for the final total of 59 pitches. He was our flame thrower of the game yesterday. Picking up a win, he remains 5-0 this season on the mound. And for the Mules, 
They've got two really good aces. They've got Dylan Brancher. They've got Noah Spain. You can't forget to mention Ryland Season Good. He's in that conversation. And more than likely, I would assume that we're going to see him in game two at some point. You heard Coach Patillo earlier on talk about that you might see him in this game. But I would say, honestly, we might see him coming up in game two, I would think, depending on how this first game goes. Both teams are completely warmed up. The Mules, by the way, wearing their maroon uniforms with the white jersey pants, the white numbering, the white ball caps. On the other side, you've got Van Buren. They're wearing their all yellow uniforms with the black trim, black numbering, and the black ball caps. I was talking to Coach Nicholson before the game, and it almost reminds me of the, uh, what is that, the Savannah Bananas down there. And I asked him, when they come to the plate, are they going to be doing any kind of dancing? And he said, absolutely not. So nevertheless, a little bit of humor there as we get ready for the opening pitch here, watching the body language of the Mules right now. Very relaxed, having a lot of fun, as is Van Buren. They're kind of hanging out by the uh, third base or first base dugout. The Mules, meanwhile, doing some stretching on the turf, kind of hanging out, talking a little bit, getting ready for this big, important matchup. Mules coming in at 12 and 5 on the season. Van Buren, they are coming in at 6 and 3. We're going to find out what's going on. Don Collins, welcome aboard, my friend. He is tuning in live on Facebook. He says, let's go, Mules. We are in a delay right now, and hopefully the delay won't last too much longer. By the way, later on this week, coming up on Friday, as a matter of fact, six days away, Popper Bluff, the golf team, having their only home match of the season. There he is. The other umpire has made it. And that means that we will turn it over to Brandon Spain in just a moment as soon as they will, uh, they'll have the both head coaches meet a home plate. So while they do that, real quick, let's sneak in a 30-second break, and then we'll come back, and we're going to have Mules Baseball coming back. We're back in 30 seconds on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third-generation family-owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Poplar Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. All right, so that time you've been waiting for. As you can see at home plate, Coach Nicholson, Coach Patillo meeting with the umpires. Of course, Eric Lambert is behind the plate. Jimmy Smith will be in the field here today. We're going to look over at Brandon Spain in just a moment. And as soon as the coaches shake hands, they depart to their dugouts. We'll stop talking and we'll throw it over to Brandon Spain, who will have the official lineups coming up today. And then we will have National Anthem first pitch is coming up at around 11.17. We are about three minutes away from the opening pitch. And right now, the two coaches getting last-minute instructions. And there is the handshake, and they are departing back to their dugouts. Let's turn it over to Brandon Spain. He will have the opening lineups as well as today's national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Brandon Spain. Good morning, baseball fans, and welcome to Papa Buff High School for today's first matchup between the Van Buren Bulldogs and your Papa Buff Bulldogs. Let's go ahead and get to the starting lineup for today's game. Up first for the Bulldogs. Batting first, and your pitcher, number eight, Brady Smith. Batting second, playing first base, number four, Benjamin Hawkins. Batting third, third baseman, number 12, Chase Carter. Batting fourth, right fielder, number 22, Noah Keeney. Batting fifth, your catcher for the game, number 11, Devin DeWolf. Batting sixth, your shortstop, number 17, Gage Van Landingham. Batting seventh, left fielder number 23, Hayes Townsley. Batting eighth, your center fielder number 10, Nathan Smith. Batting ninth, your second baseman number nine, Zach Decina. Okay. And now here's your starters for the Pop Up Bluff Mules. Batting first, your center fielder number two, Dylan Hall. Batting second, playing first base number 18, Kobe Greenwald. Batting fourth, 
Rivers, the catcher number 12, Bryce Dobbs. Batting eight up, right fielder number 16, Kate Huffman. Batting fifth, second baseman number one, Marcus Tabanera. Batting sixth, the third baseman number 11, Noah Spain. Your pitcher today is number 15, the batting seventh, Big Country, Dylan Bradford. Batting eighth, the D8, number three, Ryan Season Good. Batting ninth, the playing shortstop, number 19, Ryan Tetevez. Your left fielder today for the Mules, number five, Cameron Settle. And now we will have our national anthem, and then we will have the first pitch. Infamous first words. Play ball. Play ball, Brandon Spain says. So welcome aboard to Mules Baseball. Here we go. It is 11-17. And let's go ahead once again, get you to the offensive lineup here for the Bulldogs of Van Buren. Leading things off the pitcher, number eight, Brady Smith, the sophomore. Batting second at first base, number four, Benjamin Hawkins. He is a senior batting third over at third base. It is number 12, Chase Carter batting cleanup. The right fielder, number nine, or make that number 22, Noah Keeney. He is a senior batting fifth. He is the catcher, number 11, Devin DeWolf batting sixth at shortstop. Number 17, Gage Van Landingham batting seventh at left field. Number 23, Hayes at Townsley, a sophomore. Batting eighth at center field, at number 10, at Nathan Smith. And batting ninth at second base, it is number nine, Zach Desina. I hear Stone Cold Steve Austin's music in the background. Boy, we're all about WWE up here. I'm telling you what. Let's take a look at the defensive lineup for your Popper Bluff Mules. Let's start out in left field today. Cameron Settle will be out there in left field here this afternoon. At center field, Dylan Hall. In right field, it is Cade Huffman. Along the infield, at third base, Noah Spain. At shortstop is Ryan Tenchevez. At short, I make that second base, it is Marcus Tabanera. At first base, you've got Kobe Greenwall. Behind the plate, it is Bryce Dobbs on the mound for the Mules. For Popper Bluff, it is number 15, Dylan Bratcher, a senior for the Mules. His seventh start of the year, 24 and two third innings pitched. He has given up 21 hits, 16 runs, seven earned. He has walked nine, struck out 34. His earned run average is a hair under two, 1.986. So there you go, those are the lineups. And we are about ready for the opening pitch. Make sure, if you don't mind, and hit that share button for us on social media. And what do you say, Mules fans? Let's get it going. It is time for the opening pitch. And where we left off yesterday, it is 11-19, 72 degrees at first pitch. He's Tim Hicks. I'm Frankie Castile. Here we go. Welcome to Mules Baseball. First pitch is up high for a ball, and we are off and running here in the top of inning number one. All right, so Brady Smith now, the pitcher, takes the first pitch up high. One ball, no strikes, and this one fouled away to the screen. One ball and one strike now. You hear that wind as it is gusting yet again, and that's going to be the flavor of the day. We're going to have the winds to deal with pretty much all day today and 
for the rest of today as well. One ball and one strike. Preston Moore is tuning in. Glad to have Mr. Moore alongside today. Second or make that third pitch is inside for a ball. Two balls and one strike. So Preston giving at a boy to Dylan Bratcher, letting him know that he stands behind him. Here is the 2 1 pitch. This one has popped up to left field. Cam Settle goes over to make the catch. One up and one down here in the first inning. Coming up now to the plate for the Bulldogs, it is Benjamin Hawkins. So Hawkins now steps in for the Bulldogs. That last out goes F7. There is one down here in the top of inning number one. Hawkins is a senior place first base for the Bulldogs. Read a season good, it says great day for high school baseball. You bet you it is. Nice to see you alongside here Giving, getting in on some of the video chat here today. Miss season good. No balls in. One strike here. Here is the next pitch. And this one to Tanchevez. Tanchevez over to first base in time. Two up and two down. I'll tell you what, Tanchevez, only a freshman, played some good ball yesterday. Came in and we see West Plains. They're making their way into the ball field. By the way, Van Buren, or make that West Plains, by the way, they are state ranked. They are number nine in class five. We will see them in the later portion of the afternoon. Barb Neely says, let's go Mules. Glad to have you alongside here today, Barb. One ball, no strikes. Let us know what team you're going for. I see one of the players of West Plains, they got that uh, small basketball go with them. A lot of teams here of late, we've seen this a lot, especially in Southeast Missouri, they hang up these uh, door-style basketball goals in the dugout, and every time a run is scored, they do a slam dunk. I've seen our mules do that too. The guy down there on the field level slapping away a fly too, so I'm not the only one. Three balls and no strikes here. We've got a pesky fly here in the booth. It keeps flying around up here. I'm trying to shoo it outside. Three balls and no strikes here. We've got a strong west, or southwest wind today. It is blowing out toward left field. A south wind at 10 miles an hour, gusting to about 25. Good pitch right down the middle. Three balls and one strike here to the three hitter in the lineup, Chase Carter. He is playing third base, a junior for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are coming in to this game, six and three. Here is the three one pitch. Strike is called, and boy, I tell you what, Carter was about ready to throw his uh, bat down the line and walk toward first base. Now it's a full count now. Keeney awaiting on deck. We'll see how Bratcher pitches him here. 3 2 is the count. Two down here in the top of inning number one. Outside, and the Mules give up a two out walk here. Bratcher walks a batter. And now Keeney coming up to the plate now with two out and one on. Number 22, Noah Keeney. So now Noah Keeney, a senior playing right field today. Trying to advance that runner from first base. Chase Carter has a good lead from first base. He's got some speed over there. Got to watch out for him. First pitch is outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. So 1-0 the count here in the top of inning number one. They've got that big barbecue going on underneath the press box to our left. Don't know if the food is ready yet, but boys should be getting close. Remember, all donations accepted. All the money they raise is going to go right to the Mules baseball program. One ball and one strike here. We appreciate all of the hard work the, the Baseball Booster Club has done this season. I know Miss Deanna Brancher near the uh, gate entrance has that uh, table set up. There's a fly ball. This one may get in for a No, it's going to fall right in to Dylan Hall. I thought that was going to fall in for a base hit, but Dylan Hall able to get right underneath it and make the catch for the third out here in the top of inning number one. No runs, no hits, a man left on first base. We go to the home half of the first inning. We're back in 30 seconds. No score with the Mules coming to bat on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Patriot Auto Glass offers chip repair or glass replacement. They provide fast quality service done by experienced technicians. Ask about our veteran and first responder discounts. Call Patriot Auto Glass today at 573-840-5027. And remember, Patriot Auto Glass will come to you. 
Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third-generation family-owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Poplar Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. All right, so let's take a look now at the defensive lineup here for the Van Buren Bulldogs. We'll start out in left field this afternoon. In left field, you've got Hayes at Townsley in center field once again this afternoon. Nathan Smith over in right field for the Bulldogs. Noah Kinney looking around the infield here at third base this afternoon. For the Bulldogs, it is Chase Carter at shortstop. You've got Gage Van Landingham at second base. It is Zach DeSena at first base. It is Benjamin Hawkins. And behind the plate, it is Devin DeWolf. We'll get you to the pitcher coming up in just a moment. Starting lineup for the Mules looks a little bit like this. Leading things off for the Mules, it is Dylan Hall batting second. It is Kobe Greenwall batting third. Bryce Dobbs batting in the cleanup spot. It is Cade Huffman batting fifth. Marcus Tabanera batting sixth. It is Noah Spain batting seventh. Dylan Bratcher batting eighth here this afternoon is Ryland Season Good. And batting ninth, it is Ryan Tanchevez. He is a 5'11 freshman. He is playing shortstop, not batting, but in the lineup, it is Cameron Settle. All right, so here we go now. The center fielder, Dylan Hall, coming up to the plate. He is batting 340 on the season. And let's see what he's got in store. Batting 340 on the year, 11 RBIs. He takes the first pitch up high, and it's going to be fouled out of play. No balls and one strike now to the Mules center fielder. All right, Terry Bratcher is tuning in. She says, let's go Mules. My good buddy Roger Faith is tuning in here this afternoon. It is one ball and one strike. Gorgeous day for high school baseball. He says it's 72 degrees in Crystal City. The good news is, Raj, We've got 72 degrees in Popper Bluff, expecting the daytime high to be around 80. One ball, two strikes now to the leadoff man. This one has popped up out of play. Still one ball and two strikes. So one ball and two strikes here. This one gets away. Two balls and two strikes here. 2-2 two, two the count to the Mules leadoff man. Andrew Stowe is tuning in. He is for the Van Buren Bulldogs. Glad to have you alongside, Andrew. This one is a ground ball to the pitcher. Back over is out in time. A good play by Smith as he gets it over to Hawkins for the first out of the inning. It goes a 1-3 on the out, and Kobe Greenwall comes up to the plate now for the Mules. Greenwall playing first base here today. He went four out of four yesterday. He went four out of four yesterday, including a triple. This one is grounded down the third base line and foul. Hey, Brady, glad to have you alongside. Zizzer fans are tuning in early, they say. Tell you what, I'm excited to see your team coming up later today. Your team is going to be a lot of fun to watch here when they take on the Mules. There's the fly ball to right field. Keeney comes in. He can't make the play, and it'll be at least a double. And that's where he will stop a one-out double by Kobe Greenwall, who is batting entering the ball game 5-38 on the season. Bryce Dobbs coming up to the plate now for the Mules. Dobbs the catcher today. Dobbs is batting so far this season, 356. Denny Bratcher is tuning in. Of course, that is the father of Dylan Bratcher. Glad to have you alongside, Denny. Tuning in from Holly Springs. Swing and a foul tip. Down a strike here. No balls and one strike. Got to tell me, Denny, where that place is located, my friend. 
Ron Rick or Don Ricker is tuning in. He says, let's go Bulldogs. Mike Deal is tuning in. 44 degrees in the mountains of Oregon. There's a ground ball. This one hit by Bryce Dobbs over to Hawkins at first base. Two down here in the inning. Good job there by the shortstop, by Van Landingham, and by Carter as well. Two down in the inning. Runner now on third base. Boy, this, this looks familiar from yesterday. In the first inning yesterday, Mules had Kobe Greenwall on third base with two down. We'll see if Huffman can come in this time and deliver an RBI in this fold. One ball, no strikes now. Runner on third base for the Mules. Huffman with 21 RBIs this season leads the team, fouls this one away, one ball and one strike. Boy, I was smart today. I parked way back in the back 40 here at the field. I know yesterday a, a buddy of mine got his car hit not once but twice on foul balls. I said, you know what? It's going to be a great day for baseball. We'll just park farther away. Two balls and one strike here. Glad to see everybody tuning in for some high school baseball this afternoon. Popper Bluff taking on Van Buren in game one of the doubleheader. Fly ball down the left field line. This one's going to get out of play. Two balls and two strikes now. So now Huffman, the count is even. Marcus Tabanera awaiting on deck. Tabanera, by the way, hit his eighth double yesterday. He does lead the team in doubles for the Popper Bluff Mules. 2-2 two -two pitch just misses outside. Three balls and two strikes. Ooh. Tell you what, Mules may have got lucky on that one. Three balls and two strikes. Here's the payoff. There's a fly ball once again down the line and foul. Still three balls and two strikes here. Huffman trying to pick up that runner from third base. Huffman coming in the ball game for the Mules. He is batting 462 with runners in scoring position. Boy, a great crowd here today for this first game of Van Buren. Their fans are lined up behind the wall there at first base, also in the bleachers. Same as the Mules. West Plains, they are here today already. And just like in yesterday's game, Cade Huffman draws a two-out walk. Now the Mules have them on the corners, first and third, with two down in the inning. Tabanera coming up to the plate now. Big double yesterday, batting 304, 14 RBIs. We'll see what Tabanera gets a chance here to do. He's got eight doubles on the season, batting 423 with runners on second and third base. Ooh, the first one gets away, and Cade Huffman is able to take off, and he'll be on a second base. Nearly got Tabanera. Tabanera had to get out of the way on that pitch. One ball and no strikes now. The Mules have him on first, or make that second and third base now. Tyler Mathis standing there on first base. Coach Patillo on third base. Casey Beast and Coach Tyler McLevain in the dugout for the Mules. Swing and a miss. Good pitch that time by Brady Smith. Count is even at one ball, one strike. 1-1 one, one the count now as Tabanera batting 304 this season in 57 plate appearances. Strike two is called. One ball and two strikes now. 1-2 the count with two down here in the inning. Here is the one-two pitch on the way. This one is ripped to left field for a base hit. One run's coming in. Here's your relay. No, they're going to be thrown in. Huffman cuts it off and goes back to third base. Meanwhile, Tabanera ends up on second. So the Mules now lead 1-0 on an RBI by Marcus Tabanera. So Noah Spain now comes up to the plate now. Still two on and two down here in the inning. Boy, Tabanera, good job by him as he is able to get it to left field. Runners on second and third base now. Two down. Oh, this one got him on the elbow, I believe, or did it? I thought it got him on the uh, inside of the forearm. So now Coach Patillo, the, the ball got him. There's no doubt about it. It did get him. Yes, he's pointing at the arm as well. That ball hit Noah Spain, no doubt about it, folks. He should be on first base. Are they going to say the ball hit the bat?
Spain's got a good little whelp there on his inside. Wow, they're going to say the ball hit his bat. I don't think that's... And Patillo is looking at the arm of Noah Spain. There's no way... Mm, 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 mm. So they're going to say it hit the bat, the bat rather, so it will be a strike, foul ball. No balls and one strike here. Nothing against the umpires here. We just want to make sure they get it right. Keith Porter is tuning in. Glad to have him alongside. There's a fly ball. This one hangs up in right field and right to Keeney, who is standing there waiting for the ball. But the Mules do a strike first. Mules score a run on two hits, and they leave two on. We go to the top of inning number two. Mules lead by a run. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions' comprehensive maintenance plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. Here's a quick and easy test to see if you need new tires. Insert a penny upside down, and if you see the top of Honest Abe's head, your tread is too low. If you don't, you're good to go. So when it's time for new tires, remember, Christian Automotive and Tire, keeping you safe on the road. Our ball game here today proudly presented by Senator Jason Bean, Maverick Glass, Edmondson, Warren, and Holt Legal Services, Air Solutions. Also being brought to you by Larry Hillis Dodge, Eye Care Specialist, Christian Automotive and Tire, Patriot Auto Glass, and Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center. Proud supporters of your Poplar Bluff Mules. So we are back here as we get set for the top of inning number two. Mules lead by a run. So now it'll be Devin DeWolf, Gage Van Landingham, and Hayes Townsley. Anybody gets on, Nathan Smith will bat fourth in the inning. There's a swing and a miss. Down a strike here early on in this at bat here. Mules lead 1-0 over the Bulldogs of Van Buren. Next pitch is inside, one ball and one strike. So later today, they'll do their drawings for the mega raffle coming up today. Lots of great prizes up for grabs here. Just misses up high, two balls and one strike. The Mules Mules Booster Club, the baseball booster club that is. They are doing their big barbecue today. They did this last year as well. Pick out a Saturday, and we have a couple of ball games. And I can't remember, I think it was last year. Was it last year we had the rain, or was that the year before last, Tim? I think it was the year before last. Two balls and two strikes here. One year we had it, and it wasn't like this. It was the complete opposite. We had rain, it was cold. Today, not the case. It is a really nice day to take away the wind. It is a gorgeous afternoon here in Poplar Bluff. And we're going to see a few days. This one fouled away to the screen. Still two balls and two strikes. Two balls and two strikes here. As Devin DeWolf battles off Dylan Bratcher. Two balls and two strikes here as Bratcher comes set, holds up, and now it's a full count. Good job there by the batter, by DeWolf, to hold off on that pitch. He wanted to pull the trigger on that pitch, but he just holds back, and it's going to be ball three. Three balls and two strikes now. You can hear that wind howling from the southwest, gusting at times to over 20 today. Wynn is going to play a little bit of an issue in the outfield today, much like it has pretty much all season. Here is the payoff on the way. This one has popped up, and this one also will get out of play. A still three balls and two strikes. 
Ah, Denny Bratcher, my friend. Big country's getting them. Have fun down there in Holly Springs. We miss you up here in Bluff, that's for sure, big fella. Three balls and two strikes here. I know you'll be there next week when the Mules take on Jackson, Dexter, and Greenville. There's a ground ball right back to Bratcher. Big Country walks over and flips the first base for the out. It goes a 1-3 on the out, one up and one down here in the top of inning number two. So now Gage Van Landingham is coming up to the plate now. The shortstop, a junior for the Bulldogs, getting his first at bat here. First pitch, calling a ball, one ball and no strikes. Oh, that's a nice, thank you so much, Brady, for that fun fact. Nathan Smith last year was a scissor. Ground ball hit to Tanchevez and got him a by a step at first base. Boy, I tell you what, this Tanchevez kid, he is impressing me at shortstop. No doubt about it. Tanchevez has came in the last two ball games and been very effective at shortstop. It goes at 6-3 on the out. And now coming up to the plate now, it is a Hayes at Townsley. Takes the first pitch for a strike. No balls and one strike here. So the on-deck circle, Nathan Smith, who Brady Sharp told us was a zizzer last year, and we're going to see him bat now as a Townsley grounds into a two-out base hit to left field. So now we'll see Nathan Townsley, who played, who was a zizzer last year. He is a junior for the Bulldogs, and we'll see him bat in this inning with two down. Now batting number 10, Nathan Smith. So now here is the pitch on the way here for, from Dylan Bratcher. Outside pitch called a strike. Underway here at this at bat, no balls and one strike, two down, and a runner on first base. A two out hit by Townsley. First hit of the ball game here for the Bulldogs. They've had two base runners so far. Did he hold up? They're gonna say he did, a one ball and a one strike. One one the count here as Bratcher now comes set. Takes a look back at Townsley over there on first base. Nathan Smith now up to the plate. One ball, one strike. Takes strike two. This one gets away from Dobbs. He'll throw down to second base, but not in time. It is a one ball, two strike count now as Townsley able to get to second base. Good job by Bryce Dobbs to kind of keep the ball in front of him and only allow the one base run, or I should say the only one base there. I keep going to you. Runner on second base now for the Bulldogs. One ball, two strikes here. Bratcher, big country, comes set. Here's the pitch. Three. Got him on the third strike. And there is your third out. We go to the bottom of the second inning. No runs on one hit. A runner left on second base. Home half of the second inning. It'll be Bratcher, season good, and Tanchevez. Mules lead by a run on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Imagine playing sports, reading, or driving without needing contact lenses or glasses. The eye LASIK procedure at Eye Care Specialists could be the answer to help you improve your vision. Call Eye Care Specialists to schedule a free screening. Kevin's Auto and Tire is now a certified dealer for Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. Kevin's Auto is also a full-service garage from brakes and oil changes to electrical and AC. Don't forget they also offer custom muffler work. It's Kevin's Auto and Tire, located on Cravens Road in Poplar Bluff.
All right, so we are back here in a big country coming up to the plate now for the Popper Bluff Mules. As the Mules now coming up now, as we will see the Mules here bat with uh, nobody out here in the bottom of inning number two. Mules lead by a run. A Bratcher season good. And Ryan Tanchevez coming up to the plate now for the Mules. Bratcher first pitch hangs up outside. One ball and no strikes. Bratcher on the season for the Mules, batting 341 at nine RBIs. There's a swing and a miss. Count is even at one ball and one strike. Glad to have you alongside for Shane Hanley tuning in today. Glad to have him alongside as well. Two balls and one strike. On a gorgeous afternoon here in Popper Bluff, we are talking about 73 degrees here in Poplar Bluff. Three balls and one strike here to the Mules pitcher. If you haven't done so already, hit that share button for us today. We would greatly appreciate it. Want these kids to be seen. This one fouled away to the screen at three balls and two strikes. Don't forget to get your Mules gear if you're tuning in in the stands. Head over to the table there by the front entrance. Get your Mules gear. Also, they're doing that mega raffle. This one fouled away to the screen. It's still three balls and two strikes. We'll do the drawing coming up for the big giveaway later on today. Also, the Mules, the Booster Baseball, the Baseball Booster Club, rather, doing their big barbecue down below. It's, oh, my goodness, an inside pitch is called a strike. Bratcher had to get out of the way on that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So Bratcher down on strikes, one away here in the bottom of inning number two. I would ask him to hop on the mic right now. How's the barbecue, Kent? He gives me two thumbs up. There's a ground ball by Season Good. Hit right to Decina, flips it over to first base in time. A two up and two down here in the bottom of inning number two. Coach Keith thought I was gonna make him get on the mic and talk a little bit. I knew that would get a reaction out of him. Now batting, so by the way, the seniors picked out this uh, walkout music for Tanchevez getting his first at bat here on varsity. Takes the first pitch outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes here. There's a ground ball. This one is gonna be a foul ball. Just went foul to the third baseman, Carter, trying to make a diving stop. It'll be one ball and one strike here to the Mules freshman, Ryan Tanchevez. Tanchevez, a 5'11 freshman, Played shortstop yesterday's game, playing shortstop again today in the first game. He's also getting some at-bats here as well. Here is the 1-1 pitch. He got a couple of hits yesterday. This one lines right out to the first baseman, and that'll be the way this inning will come to a close. A three up and three down. It took only 11 pitches. Decina, Smith, and Hawkins all do up for the Bulldogs. So we're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third-generation family-owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Popper Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. Patriot Auto Glass offers chip repair or glass replacement. They provide fast quality service done by experienced technicians. Ask about our veteran and first responder discounts. Call Patriot Auto Glass today at 573-840-5027. And remember, Patriot Auto Glass will come to you.
This game is moving right along in the top part of inning number three now. Brady Smith back out there coming up. You'll see him batting here in the inning for the Bulldogs. Up now is Zach Decina in the ninth spot. We'll see what Bratcher has in store for Decina. First pitch is popped out to right field. Coming in, it's going to fall in for a base hit as Huffman laid out there, could not come up with it. And it is a leadoff base hit there. Good try by Huffman. One on here in the top of inning number three. So now Brady Smith coming up to the plate now. He popped out to left field his first time. Back over to first base is not in time. So Decina able to get on first base. Andrew Stowe says, let's go, Zach. So, Mr. Stowe, Decina gets on first base. First pitch taken outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes here. Top of inning number three, the Bulldogs coming in six and three. Not your average six and three team. A very good competition, very good team, very well coached. Here is the 1-0 pitch outside for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. 2-0 the count here to the leadoff man, Brady Smith, who so far has only given up the one run to the Mules to this point. He has been a very effective pitcher so far. Back over to first is not in time. Mules so far through the first go around as all nine batters has batted so far, just given up two hits on one run so far. Here is a 2-0 pitch on the way. Runner takes off. Dobbs down to second base, and he is safe. Slides in, a good slide by Decina. Two balls and a one strike here, and now a runner on second base and nobody down. All right, Brady, bring him around. See it driving. So now the lefty versus the right-handed pitcher, Brady Smith, batting left-handed, throws right, bats left, much like Bratcher. Up high for a ball, three balls and one strike. Three and one the count here. Tying run, standing on second base. Appreciate the Mules Booster Baseball Club here for coming out here, the Mule Boosters. This one has popped up out of play. It is three balls and two strikes. Full count here as Bratcher comes set. Runner leads away from second base now. Bratcher takes a look back at second base. Here's the payoff, a swing and a miss. One down here in the inning. That's a big out there for Dylan Bratcher and the Mules. Second strikeout of the ball game for Bratcher. So now Benjamin Hawkins coming up to the plate now. Grounded out to shortstop his first time. He is 0 for 1 as well. There is one down here in the inning. Hawkins now the second batter in the lineup. We'll see what he does with a runner in scoring position. Just misses up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Runner on second base here. Our ball game today is proudly presented by First Choice Insurance, Baldwin Toyota, Russians Towing, Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, Pop or PB Realty Legacy Farm and Land Specialist, Kevin's Auto Repair, and first Midwest Bank, that one's inside for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. So Bratcher here in the third inning has already thrown nine pitches, one down in the inning. It is 330 down the lines of 400 and straightaway center. Dylan Hall out there in center field. There's a strike, good pitch right down the pike. Two balls and one strike. Kate Huffman out in right field and Cameron Settle, he's in left. Noah Spain's at third base. Ryan Tanchevez is at shortstop. Marcus Tabanera at second. And uh, Kobe Greenwall at first. Bryce Dobbs is behind the plate. And he couldn't hold up. Did he go? Oh, they're going to say he did. No one's. Oh, my goodness. The runner takes off, and he's at third. Keep your hands up, Zach. I believe they called the last pitch a ball. 
And that was the confusion because Bryce Dobbs was looking back at the umpire for clarification, but time was not granted. And now a runner will be at third base as to Cena. They're asking for the play to be, they're asking to see if they check the ball and strike. They called that one a ball. So it's going to be three balls and one strike here. Decina ends up and he'll get credit for the stolen base. And now a runner on third base now. Dobbs thought it was going to be a strike call and no time was granted. So good heads up base running by Decina who ends up on second base. It is now, or make that third base rather. Now the count is full. Good. Three balls and two strikes here. So now here is the payoff pitch. This one fouled away, so we'll do it again. It's still three balls and two strikes. Runner on third base, one down here in the third inning. Chase Carter awaiting on deck here for the Bulldogs. It is coming up on the noon hour here in Poplar Bluff. Three balls and two strikes. Here is the payoff pitch on the way from Bratcher. Three. Got him on strike three on the outside. A part of the plate, there are two down here in the inning. Second strikeout here of the inning for Bratcher. Two down and a runner on third base. So Chase Carter now coming up to the plate. Carter is walked his first time. So now Carter stands in with a runner on third base, tie and run on third. Here is the first pitch on the way inside for a ball, one ball, no strikes. So 1-0 the count now, runner on third base. Mules lead by a run against the Bulldogs of Van Buren. It's so glad to have you alongside. He's Tim Hicks, I'm Frankie Castile. There's a fly ball, this one out toward right field. Huffman going over and he will make the catch and the inning will come to a close. The Bulldogs, they leave a runner on third base. We go to the home half of inning number three and for the Mules, it'll be back to the top of the lineup. Mules that still lead by a run. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling. You're in the zone with Baldwin Toyota. Today's spotlight is the 2024 Toyota Tundra. This truck is a powerhouse with its available iForce Max engine. That's right. It's built like a champion from the ground up. Its powertrain frame and suspension work together, providing an available max towing capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. With Tundra, you can haul with confidence. Head to Baldwin Toyota and experience the power of the 2024 Toyota Tundra for yourself. And now back to Mule's action. It is coming up on noon, and thank you again for tuning in to Mules Baseball Live on today's talk, 93.3 FM, 9.30 AM, KWOC. We are streaming online at KWOC.com. Also streaming this game live on Facebook and on YouTube. So Dylan Hall now coming up to the plate now for the Mules. He is 0 for 1, and he pops that one out toward right field. Keeney comes in, and he drops it. Oh, he, did he maintain the catch? No, he drops right in front of him. Boy, I thought Keeney was going to make the play there. So now the Mules have a leadoff man aboard with nobody down in the inning. 
Boy, Keeney had to come a long way for that one. Fell in between him and Decina there at shortstop. They throw back to first base, is not in time. And Hall now gets back to first base, runner on first, nobody down. So now you look at the numbers here for Dylan Hall this year. He's got nine, or made that seven stolen bases on nine attempts. He takes off on the pitch. Here's your throw down, and he is safe. Well, I will say this, the throw beat him there. Good slide by Dylan Hall. No balls, or make that no balls in one strike here. Dylan Hall gets his eighth stolen base of the season. So now the Mules have a runner in scoring position. Greenwall now down at no balls and two strikes. Greenwall with a double back in the first inning. He also has scored the only run so far. Coming in the ball game, 538 batting average. He's got 14 RBIs. He also has four triples on the season. This one fouls it away again. It's still no balls and two strikes. Greenwall now as Dylan Hall standing on second base. Gets a base hit to the opposite field. Out there in right field to lead off the third inning. So now Smith tape set. Here's the pitch outside for a ball. One ball and two strikes now. One, two, the count. Here in the bottom of inning number three. So now Smith comes set. Here is the pitch on the way. Fly ball. This one is going to get out to the grass. Coming in is Nathan Smith at center field to make the catch. And a one down here in at the bottom of inning number three with a runner on second base. One thing that has been almost impossible of late is to get Kobe Greenwall out. He has got five consecutive hits until then. It goes F8 on the out, one away here in the third inning. And now Bryce Dobbs, who grounded out the shortstop, hits first time. Ball taken downstairs, and good job there by DeWolf as Dylan Hall stays put at second base. He didn't know if he was going to be able to get to third base or not. And for a slight moment, DeWolf lost where the ball was. But he was able to uh, get it back pretty quick, and now Smith steps off the rubber. So now we're going to get a time called here by the catcher. And they're going to walk out and talk to the pitcher here. And here comes Coach Nicholson now. So Coach Nicholson talking to the home plate umpire. Coach Patillo is walking toward a home as well. So everybody seems to be satisfied now, and we'll get back here to live action. It is one ball and no strikes to Bruce, as they call him. Bryce Dobbs up at the plate now for the Mules. Dobbs grounded out to shortstop his first time. Dobbs coming in the ball game, averaging 356, 12 RBIs, and one home run. Just downstairs, two balls and no strikes now. Mules have a runner in scoring position. They lead by one. After this game, we'll end the video feed. We'll take a break, and then we'll be back at 4 o'clock for the last game of the afternoon between Bluff and West Plains. There is two balls and a strike. Good pitch there by Brady Smith. So now Hall gets a good lead away from second base, his eighth stolen base earlier this inning. Here is the 2-1 pitch. Just misses downstairs at three balls and one strike. So three won the count now. I hear the Bruce chants in the crowd. So Dobbs trying to get on base here. His dad Nate is on the grill. There's a ground ball. Oh my goodness as Smith gets out of the way. And here comes Hall. He's going to score. So Dobbs does his job and it delivers on a one out base hit. 
It is now two to nothing as Hall is able to score from second base. An RBI base hit by Dobbs. And now it is a two to one ball, or two nothing ball game. So now we're gonna see a courtesy runner to come in. And we're gonna see, it looks like Drew Cooper is gonna be the guy over there at first base, or second base rather. So Dobbs able to get to second base. Nobody paying attention is what the call was. Time was not granted. So therefore Dobbs able to get on second base. It is now a two to nothing ball game. A strike one is called. Two nothing the score now. One, one away here in the bottom of inning number three. There's a rip down the first baseline. It goes foul, no balls and two strikes. Rena Gordon says, uh, let's go Mules. Popper Bluff up a couple of runs here. Mules have scored a one run on a couple of hits. Dylan Hall led off the inning with a base hit. He stole second base. Greenwall flew out. And uh, Bryce Dobbs delivers on a one-out RBI base hit. Linda Hall says, way to go, Dylan and Bryce. Mules now lead by two runs. Glad to have you guys alongside for Mules baseball today. Great afternoon in store for high school baseball. There's a fly ball. This one gets down for a base hit. And here comes Cooper. And now the Mules lead at three to nothing as Cade Huffman delivers. Huffman now, his 22nd RBI of the season. It is another one out RBI base hit for the Mules. Mules now lead a three nothing. Back to back hits here as Dobbs and Huffman each with a base hit. Still one down here in the inning. It is now a three nothing ball game. First pitch misses to Marcus Tabanera. One ball, no strikes here. Mules now lead it three nothing as the Mules now. Huffman leads away from first base. So Smith takes a look back at the runner at first. Swing and a miss by Tabanera and the count is even now. One ball, one strike. Very good crowd watching us today on Facebook and YouTube and a better crowd is here in the stands. Be a lot of sunburns going on later today, I guarantee it. Here is the 1-1 one -one pitch on the way by Brady Smith. This one gets away. Huffman takes off, and he'll end up on second base as Huffman is going to advance on the wild pitch. Two balls and one strike here. Mules now have a runner back in scoring position. They're at second base. Two balls and one strike here. Ready, let's go. Reset. Find your rhythm. So now Tabanera digs in. Tabanera, two balls and one strike. Tabanera got a base hit, RBI base hit his first time. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. Now the count is even at two balls and two strikes. Two and two the count. Mules lead three nothing. Ken Lunsford is tuning in. Glad to have you alongside. There's a swing and a miss, a drop strike three, and out at, at first base, two away here in the inning. So two down here in the inning. And now Noah Spain, who popped out to right field his first time. Ken Lunsford, glad to have you alongside. He says, Tim, you're doing a great job on the camera. He says, mediocre at best. No, he doesn't say that. He says, a good job indeed. Thank you so much, Ken. Hope you're having a great Saturday afternoon, my friend. Glad you're tuning in to Mules Baseball. There's a ground ball by Spain. Takes it right to the third baseman. It's a fair or fair foul ball, rather. And it'll go one, no balls and one strike here. Good heads up by Carter. He would have had the man at first base for sure. Spain was about halfway down the line when Carter released the ball. No balls and one strike, two away here in the third inning. Mules have already added two runs. There is a fly ball. This one hangs up in left field. It gets down for a hit. Here comes Huffman. 
and Spain will have a two out RBI. And Spain digs in to second base on the throw. So Noah Spain with an RBI base hit with two away. And Spain now with his RBI and the Mules now lead for nothing. So now Dylan Bratcher coming up to the plate now for the Mules. Bratcher in company now leads at four nothing here. Popper Bluff leading at four nothing. Two down here in the inning. And now Smith again comes set. Pitch is outside, one ball and no strikes. So Bradger struck out looking his first time. Fly ball, this one by Bradger. Bradger takes it down the third base line and foul. One ball and one strike here. One, one the count. Don't forget coming up on Friday, Later on today, we'll have Kent Keith tell us the details. The Mules golf team are going to have their only home match on Friday of this week coming up. It'll be right here in Popper Bluff. We'll tell you all the details inside. Pitch, two balls, and one strike. Mules lead 4-0 here over the Bulldogs of Van Buren. Mules looking for their 13th win of the season. Here is the 2-1 pitch outside. 3-1 the count now. Still two down here in the inning. Coming up in the top of inning number four, it'll be a four, five, and six. Keeney to lead off for the Bulldogs. Strike is called. Now it's a full count here. Three balls and two strikes. Paul Spain is tuning in over in Tennessee. Glad to have you alongside, Paul. How's the weather where you are in West Tennessee? Here is the payoff pitch. There's a line out. This one's a base hit. It got down for a base hit. Here comes Noah Spain, and Bratcher has done it again. A two-out RBI base hit. The Mules have three RBIs in this ball game with two down in this inning alone. So now it's going to bring out Coach Nicholson. So Bratcher does his job. Remington season good is going to be the courtesy runner there on first base, and Popper Bluff now. Up by five runs, back-to-back -back two-out hits here. One by Spain, one by Bratcher. Big country getting it done at the plate and getting it done as well at the at the on the pitcher's mound as well. Five nothing is your score. So now Coach Nicholson walks out. He talks to. His pitcher, Brady Smith, and now Rylan Season Good up to the plate now. Season Good's brother Remington is out there on first base. We'll see if Remy or make that Rylan can bring him on in. Greg Roberto gonna bring Jackie in four o'clock game. All right, Greg. We're gonna hold you to that, my friend. He's talking about his lovely wife, Miss Jackie, who will join him later today. Grandma Jackie is tuning in for Mule Sports. She's at home today on W Highway, loving what she is hearing right now. One ball, no strikes here. Big Mules fan as Grandma Jackie, obviously, as Ryland Season Good takes the first pitch outside. Season Good grounded out to Decina his first time. Same pitch, two balls and no strikes. Mules lead by five runs now over the Bulldogs of Van Buren. Mules off to a good start here in this one. Kind of slow early on, but their bats have really heated up in this inning. Mules have added four runs to the lead. There's a strike called, two balls and one strike. Mules have five hits in the inning. All of their base runners and runs have been by hits. There's a foul tip, and now it's two balls and two strikes. Mules have not got a walk in this issue. It's all been hits. Dylan Hall led us off with a base hit. Base hit by Dobbs and by Huffman, 
in by Spain and Bratcher. Outside, pitch called a strike, and the inning will come to a close. Mules pick up four runs on five hits, and they leave a runner on first base. It took 33 pitches. We are headed now to the top of inning number four, and the Mules that now lead 5-0 on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Oh, Carmo, there's another PB Realty sign. Yes, I know, dear. PB Realty signs are everywhere. Another one, and it says Legacy Farm. Did you know PB Realty and Legacy Farm and Land Specialist have three offices in Poplar Bluff, plus offices in Donovan, Piedmont, and even Branson? This is Lucy Wheeler with PB Realty. Call me today, 573-785-7600, or my cell, 429-3243. So the Mules added four runs in that last inning. Now they lead five to nothing. Keeney, DeWolf, and Van Landingham all do up in the inning. If anybody gets on, Townsley will bat fourth in the inning. First pitch by Bratcher is fouled away, and we are underway at no balls and one strike here. Our ball game today is proudly presented by First Midwest Bank, Kevin's Auto Repair, PB Realty Legacy Farm and Land Specialist, Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, Russians Towing, and Baldwin Toyota, all proud supporters of Mules Baseball here this season. Here is the pitch, and this one has popped up. Kate Huffman, Tabanera goes out. Tabanera makes the play there at second base. One up and one down here in the top of inning number four. Good job there by Bratcher getting the first out there. It goes F4 on the out. So now De Devin DeWolf now coming out to the plate. He grounded out to Bratcher his first time. First pitch is just downstairs for a ball. One ball and no strikes here to Devin DeWolf, who is 0 for 1 here in the ball game so far. Nobody warming up quite yet for the Bulldogs. There's a swing and a miss. It is one ball and one strike. Don't forget the Baseball Booster Club doing their big barbecue today. I've already seen Kent Keith. He had a hamburger and a hot dog. There's a fly ball. Dylan Hall comes in from center field to make the catch, and there's two down here in the top of inning number four. Good job by the commander out there in center field. And now Gage Van Landingham, he grounded out to shortstop his first time. Two down here in the inning. And now we'll see what the Mules have in store defensively with two down. The Mules lead at five nothing. Awaiting on deck is at Townsley. Hayes Townsley, a sophomore. The shortstop now, Van Landingham is up to the plate with two down and nobody on. Just a nice day all around here in Popper Bluff. First pitch is outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Mules lead five to nothing. Next pitch is downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Boy, I tell you what, with the big win yesterday, the Mules against Cape Central, you don't want to overlook the next few opponents coming up. We've got West Plains. We've still got to finish this game here today. We've got West Plains next. Strike is called on the outside part of the plate. Two balls and one strike. But with the Mules now winning their fifth conference game, it leads you to believe I was looking at the standings and trying to figure out where we fit in. And honestly, next Thursday, 
at Jackson pretty much will decide the conference championship. Bluff is in that conversation. Bluff gets a win against Jackson. They'll be regular season conference champions, the number one seed for sure in the upcoming tournament later on this month. It's that simple. Mules know it. They need it. There's a ground ball to Tanchevez over to first base in time. One, two, three. The Bulldogs go here in the top of inning number four. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on. Home half of the fourth coming up. Nine, one, and two. Do up with Tanchevez. Mules lead 5-0 on the Southeast Signing Graphics Mules Radio Network. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions' comprehensive maintenance plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. So much like yesterday's game, you look at some of the numbers here that we have seen thus far from the Mules. And Dylan Bratcher, he threw 15 pitches in the first inning, 16 pitches in the second and third inning. He only threw 10 last inning, and the Mules get out of the inning. And now we'll see 9-1-2 and two all do up here for the Mules as Ryan Tanchevez comes up to the plate now for the Mules. And now we'll see what he's able to do on his second trip up. First pitch is called a strike. No balls and one strike here to Ryan Tanchevez, a freshman for the Mules who lined out to first base his first time. Swing and a miss, and he is down at two strikes here. No balls and two strikes to the Mules shortstop. Nine, one, and two do up in the inning, and three pitches in and out. Swing and a miss. And Tanchevez is down on strikes. One down, Dylan Hall coming up to the plate now for the Mules. He's one out of two. He has singled and scored. He has also grounded out to the pitcher as well. First pitch is in there for a call strike. No balls and a one strike here. So Hall now, I can hear Coach Kent Keats somewhere out there. He got his belly full, so now he's cheering on the mules, no doubt. No balls and two strikes here. We're getting ever so closely to the big mega raffle coming up. They'll start doing some drawings coming up later on today for those items. And there's a bunch of them, too. This one gets away. One ball, two strikes here. One down here in the fourth inning. So glad to have you alongside. Our game time temperature, by the way, was 72 degrees. Right now, we are at 74, and we're on our way to about 82. There's a ground ball. This one goes over the head of Van Landingham and Dylan Hall in back-to-back -back innings with a base hit. I hear Dylan Hall's dad out there in the crowd letting him know, way to do a job, kid. I know that voice anywhere. And now Kobe Greenwall coming up to the plate now. Greenwall one for two. He has doubled and popped out to center field. He did that back in the third. So now Dylan Hall already a stolen base here in the ball game. Miss Senya Dobbs is watching. Got a chance to meet her yesterday in person. Great lady, so glad to meet her. Of course, she is related to Bryce Dobbs, obviously, who will be batting later on at this inning. Matter of fact, he'll bat next, barring a double play. Glad to see that Miss Senya Dobbs is tuning in today. Big Mules fan. 
So now uh, Brady Smith looking back at uh, Dylan Hall on first base. He's already got one stolen base here today. Back over to first, not in time, no throw this time. Still one ball, no strikes here to Kobe Greenwall, who is entering today's game batting 538. Greenwall has three doubles on the year, four triples and one home run. Dylan Hall takes off on a hit and run and it's fouled away at one ball to or make that one ball one strike now and we'll have to do it again a dot or i should say bratcher rather had a great jump over there at first base he would have made it to second no problem greenwall so so strong i'm not sure what the call is he fouled it away i'm not sure what the they're going to give him the base They're saying that, okay, I see what they're saying, folks. Greenwall fouled it off. I'm pretty sure that ball was fouled off. The umpires say it wasn't fouled off. They're gonna give, uh, they're gonna give Dylan Hall the bank, the base. Ooh, I don't know about that one, folks. I think he fouled it away. So I guess it's gonna be 2-0 the count make it 3-0 the count now. And this one gets away. Hall now is going to end up, and he's at third base. So three balls and one strike here. And now it's a 3-2 count. So three balls and two strikes here, and a runner on a third base. So 3-2 the count, and Greenwall issues or draws a one-out walk. And now runners on first and third base with Dobbs coming up to the plate now. So Dobbs an RBI base hit his last time up. He is also grounded out to shortstop as well. So here we go now, runners on the corners with one down. Greenwall takes off on the pitch. He's got a great jump and they're not gonna get him. So Greenwall has a stolen base here this afternoon. He is on second base. It is now one ball, no strikes. So Dobbs digs in with an RBI, a two out RBI base hit last time. This one, he gets away. Ball two, two balls and no strikes here. The runner stays put at third base. That was Dylan Hall. Greenwall was about halfway down the line before he realized that Hall stayed put on that pitch. Two balls and no strikes here to Dobbs. This one fouls it away. Two balls and one strike here. The Mules catcher, Popper Bluff, looking for their third consecutive win. Going back to last Tuesday, they were able to defeat Notre Dame on a run rule. They defeated Cape Central last night, 10 to one, and now they lead 5-0 with runners on second and third base. Up high for a ball, three balls and one strike here. The count three and one. Greg Roberto, I could not have said it better myself. He believes the Mules are getting better every single ball game. There's a ground ball hit sharply. One run's gonna come in to score and Dobbs will ground out, but the RBI is there. It is now a six nothing ball game. So Dobbs gets credit for the RBI. Two down in the inning, and Cade Huffman now comes up. So two away here in the inning. It is now 6-2-0. So Cade takes the first pitch for a ball. 
Here is the next pitch, and this one's fouled away. A one ball and a one strike here. So Greenwall standing on third base with two down in the inning, and RBI by Bryce Dobbs makes it a 6-0 ball game. West Plains, they're getting loose as they'll play the next game against Van Buren, and then they'll play Bluff. There's a strike called, a good pitch that time by Brady Smith. It is now a 1-2 count. Runner on third base. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball for a base hit. So Huffman again, another RBI. It is now 7-0, Popper Bluff. So Huffman doing his thing. So Tabanera coming up to the plate now for the Mules with two down. He's one for two. He is singled and struck out. He struck out his last time up. So now Tabanera up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Hit that share button for us on social media if you don't mind. Greatly would appreciate that. Nice crowd watching us on Facebook and on YouTube this afternoon. Mules lead 7-0 over the Bulldogs of Van Buren. Here is the pitch on the way. This one has popped up and out of play. One ball, one strike. Coach says, one, one, two, he says. Boy, West Plains, let me tell you, state ranked, ranked number nine in class five. They're going to be a sight to watch this afternoon. Runner takes off. It's Cade Huffman. There's a throw down. He is safe, and it goes in the outfield. Huffman now will have a stolen base, and he is on third on the throw from the catcher. So Huffman winds up on third base on that pitch. And the throw. So now they've got an RBI sitting on third base now. This one fouled away to the screen. It's still one ball, two strikes. Wind south, southwest at around 10 miles an hour. Sustain gusting at times to around 20. So now Tabanera has an RBI out there on third base. He's got 14 RBIs, make that 15 RBIs so far this season. Fouls that one away. By the way, Brady Smith, pitch number 95 coming up for the young man. So the Bulldogs will have to make a change sooner rather than later as he is about to pit throw pitch number 95. This one has popped up good at bat here by Tabanera. Tabanera not backing down this afternoon as he is one for two on the day so far. Tabanera struck out and he is singled with an RBI back in the first inning. Here is the pitch on the way inside for a ball. Two balls and two strikes. Two to the count. Mules lead seven nothing here early on against the Van Buren Bulldogs. Three. And strike three is called on the outside, a part of the plate, but the Mules add two more runs on two hits. They leave a runner on third base. Mules now lead 7-0. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Imagine playing sports, reading, or driving without needing contact lenses or glasses. The eye LASIK procedure at Eye Care Specialists could be the answer to help you improve your vision. Call Eye Care Specialists to schedule a free screening. Kevin's Auto and Tire is now a certified dealer for Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. Kevin's Auto is also a full-service garage from brakes and oil changes to electrical and AC. Don't forget they also offer custom muffler work. It's Kevin's Auto and Tire, located on Cravens Road in Poplar Bluff.
789 all due up here for the Mules in the top of inning number five. And the Mules lead 7 to nothing. I'm Frankie Castillo alongside Tim Hicks, who is doing an absolute amazing job, as always, on the camera. 7 nothing is your score. I know we're in baseball season, but can I talk about this a little bit, Tim? What we're trying to do in November of this year, we are trying to get our foot in the door to live stream the Current River Challenge going on in Van Buren coming up in November right after Thanksgiving. That is the plan that we are working on trying to get accomplished coming up. And I, for one, am very excited. Tim and I got the opportunity to actually live stream the uh, big athletics all-star game and the big three athletics all-star game back earlier this month. And it was a blast. We had so much fun doing that. That was actually at the end of March. And we're going to try to – Coach Jacob Black does a great job at Van Buren. Coach Nicholson welcomed us in to his house. And it was a lot of fun. Strike one is called as we are underway here in the top of inning number five. So be thinking about that, Van Buren folks. We're going to try to come your way in November this year, right after Thanksgiving. There's a hit by pitch and a runner on first base now. That is the plan coming up for this season. I don't know all the schools that are going to be involved this year with that current river challenge, but I will tell you that it's a lot of local teams. And Tim and I are very pumped up about this coming up right after Thanksgiving. I told the wife that usually we put up our tree on, on Black Friday, but this year we might be doing it a little bit later in the year, depending on what happens if we're able to get there the day after Thanksgiving this year. Pitch is up high for a ball as Nathan Smith now comes up to the plate. He is 0 for 1. Smith used to play for the Zizzers last season, we were told. Moved over from West Plains to Van Buren. There's a nice pitch by Bratcher. It is no ball. I'll make that one ball and one strike now. Runner on first base. Nobody out here in the inning. Mules lead by seven here. Bratcher comes set, showing bunt. Oh, good bunt right back to Bratcher. Bratcher has to hurry, and he overthrows. He's safe. And a runner gets over to third base now. I don't think he would have got him anyway on the play because I'll tell you what, Smith flew down the line. So they're going to give that a single to the batter and then a air on the throw. And now runners on first and third base with nobody out. So Smith bunts it perfectly right back to Bratcher. And Townsley now ends up on third base. Nobody out here in the inning. Decina now up to the plate, back over to first base, is not in time. So Decina stepping up to the plate now for the Bulldogs. He is one for one so far today, a base hit back in the third. Dylan Hall standing in center field. A runner takes off and Dobbs is going to launch it down to second base and got him. What a throw by Dobbs. He did that yesterday. So Smith is out at second base, and Dobbs with a, a rocket shot down to second base. One down here in the inning. And strike is called as you hear the home plate umpire. It is one ball and one strike now. Boy, Dobbs, what a throw that was. It's like, for some reason, when he stood up, he had all day to throw that ball, and it was right on cue. Two balls and one strike here. As Zach Decina won for one here in the ball game. You can hear the Mules side saying, throw the curve. Two balls and one strike here. Oh, and excuse me, swing. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Now here might come the curveball, just saying. Now's a good time to maybe throw that curveball at a 2-2 count. The Bulldogs have some activity in their bullpen now. 
Bratcher comes set now. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and this one outside at ball three. Three balls and no strikes. Three balls and two strikes here. There's a ground ball. This one is going to go right back to Bratcher. He gets the easy out. He couldn't field it cleanly. One run will come in to score. Nevertheless, it is now a 7-1 to ball game, and there are two down here in the inning. So 7-1 to now the score as Decina with an RBI. And now nobody on base. It goes a 1-3 on the out. Two down, there's a fly ball. This one out towards center field, it's gonna get down. It goes over the head of Dylan Hall and he'll have a two out double. You know what, he's not gonna stop. They got a play, no, no play at third. As the ball came in, Tanchevez was thinking about making that throw, but unable to make the throw in and it'll be a double and then able to get to third base on the throw. So first pitch is missed for a ball outside. So correction on the last play. They're going to give Smith a triple on that because he did not stop. He did not hold up. So now one ball and no strikes here. Two down in the inning. It's a seven to one ball game. Make it two balls and no strikes here. 2-0 the count to Benjamin Hawkins, who is 0 for 2 in the ball game. Grounded out and struck out looking back in the third. Mules have a seven to one lead. There's a ground ball. This one, oh, Tabanera. Over to first base and got him. What a play by Tabanera there at second base. Wow. Still able to maintain the throw over to first base. And that is how the inning will come to a close as the Mules, or make that the Bulldogs rather, ended up getting one run on two hits in an air by the Mules. It'll be Spain, Bratcher, and Season Good coming up to the plate. When we come back, Mules lead 7-1 to one on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling. So we've got a new pitcher on the mound. Noah Keeney will come in to pitch for the Bulldogs out of Van Buren. So that means we're going to have a few defensive positions to tell you about. Looks like right now the only defensive substitution to tell you about is going to be out there in right field. It looks like as of right now that Smith will move over and he will play. Yes, he will. They will take the right fielder, and they'll move him in as the new pitcher, and that's going to be Noah Keeney on the other end as Braden Smith now. He will go out, and he'll be the new right fielder for the Bulldogs. Let's get you the final numbers here to Smith. He went four innings. He faced 23 batters. He pitched 97 pitches. 64 of those were for strikes. 
And he gave up nine hits, seven runs, all seven earned. He walked two and struck out five. Leaving this game, pitching four innings here in the ball game. And now they will turn it over to the bullpen. And Noah Keeney now comes up, and he'll face Noah Spain to begin this inning for the Mules. Mules lead it by a score of 7-1. 7-1 is your is the ball game. Absolutely, Roger. Would love to give out a big shout out to Larry. He is visiting his roommate from my days in Vietnam. Well, Larry, thank you so much for tuning in. He is from West Virginia and he is visiting in Crystal City today. Have a great day, Larry, and thank you for your service to our country, my friend. You and Roger both. First pitch is outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. We love stories like that, don't we, Tim? You better believe it. One ball, no strikes here. To Noah Spain, one for two on the afternoon. Spain, an RBI base hit his last time up. Two balls and no strikes here. To the Mules at third baseman, one hour, 26 minutes. We even got started a little bit later than usual today, and we're still kicking right along. As Tim shakes his head at me like I may have just jinxed something. No, I didn't. I know what I'm doing. Three balls and no strikes. Ain't that right, Coach Kent? I know what I'm doing, don't I? He's like, don't look at me. He puts his hand out. You can't see me. Here is a 3-0 pitch in there for a call strike. Three balls and one strike. Spain on the season, he has earned seven walks so far this year. He may make it number eight here, three balls and one strike. Mules looking to get their leadoff man on as Noah Keeney comes in in relief. Good pitch right down the middle, three balls and two strikes. Three balls and two strikes here. We are in the bottom of inning number five. Mules lead seven to one. Here is the pitch on the way. This one fouled away at three balls and two strikes. Count is still full at three balls and two strikes. Spain trying to get on board here. Just a gorgeous afternoon. Townsley out there in left field. Smith in center. Nathan Smith in center field. And the pitch, there's a ground ball. This one hits sharply for a base hit. There you go, Paul. I know Paul is still watching us right now in Tennessee. Noah Spain with his second hit of the ball game. Runner on first base here with nobody out. So now Dylan Bratcher coming up to the plate now as the Mules have a runner on first base with nobody out. So now Noah Spain as Dylan Bratcher digs in. He's one for two in RBI base hit last inning as well. Mules lead by six runs here in the fifth. Bratcher takes the first pitch in for a call strike. No balls and one strike here. We're going to work on getting an update on the junior high team. They're in action today. We'll see how they are doing and keep you up to date this afternoon. So Noah Spain takes off. He got a great jump, too. The ball is not going to be in time, and Spain has a stolen base. Boy, he got a great jump over there at first base, too. He is there at second base now. Nobody out and a runner standing on second base. So Bratcher now, the lefty stands in, a runner in scoring position. We'll see what he does. Pitches inside, and Spain, it takes off. They've got a play at third, and not in time, as Spain is now on third base with nobody out. Two balls and one strike here to the Mules pitcher. Bratcher has pitched quite the gem so far. The Mules have scored six runs of their seven in two innings. They scored two last inning, four back in the third. Here is the 2-1 pitch on the way. Inside, called a strike, two balls and two strikes. 2-2 two, two the count here. Two balls and two strikes as the Mules looking to add another run 
and get that run back they gave up in the top part of the inning. Here is the pitch on the way. Inside, it nearly got him. Gets out of the way, and now it's ball three. Three balls and two strikes. Thank you so much, Karen. In the bottom of the third inning, the JV program, they lead a three to nothing. Or make that eight to three, rather, in the bottom of the third inning. So the Mules taking care of business on the junior high side. They lead eight to three. Thank you so much, Karen. Appreciate that. We'll keep folks up to date all afternoon. This one just fouled away. Still three balls and two strikes. Thank you, Misty. Thank you so much. Make sure and keep us updated on the junior high team. We want to know how those boys are doing. Had a big win last night against Kennett, and they're back at it again today. I believe they've got a doubleheader as well. Some good times are coming for Bluff Baseball, that's for sure. Here is the payoff pitch on the way inside. And there is ball four. Runners now on the corners, first and third base. And we're going to see, I believe, a courtesy runner coming in. It'll be a Remington season good. So Bratcher reaches base for a second straight time. So now season good going to be the courtesy runner over there on first base. Spain at third. We'll see what the Mules can do here with the runners on the corners. Ryland season good. He's 0 for 2 today so far. He is due for a hit. He is grounded out and struck out looking. Season good up to the plate now with a runner in scoring position. First pitch, strike is called. Catches enough of the plate. No balls and one strike here as season good. He is batting 357 entering today's ball game. Mules a lead by a score of seven to one. Mules have them on the corners and they're gonna go down and I'll tell you what, Remington got a great jump and I don't think anybody was paying attention on the throw down. It nearly got the pitcher. It is one ball and one strike here and now the Mules have runners on second and third base. Second and third, here is the 1-1 one, one count on the way. 1-1 one, one pitch. Showing bunt, and he couldn't hold up, and there is a strike two. One ball and two strikes now. Runners on second and third base with nobody out. Wynn picking up a little bit here. The eight hitter in the lineup, Ryan Tanchevez, is on deck with nobody out, and it's a one-two count to Ryland season good. This one, and excuse me, swing, it gets out of play. It's still one ball, two strikes. Coming up on the one o'clock hour now. Still have a whole nother game to go ahead of ours, and then we'll come back on around 3.30 or so, depending on when the next game ends, and we'll get ready for the second of our doubleheader. Gorgeous afternoon here on tap. Here is the one-two pitch. There's a ground ball taken right back to the pitcher. And there's a, a hang up there on third base. Oh, it's gonna be a double play, a double play, a running mistake there by the Mules. And it ends up being an unconventional double play. Yo, dog, two down, all right, wrap it up. So two down in the inning, and all of a sudden, the things have really turned around as it's season good is doubled up on second base. One ball and no strikes here. Runner still on at third base. Inside pitch, two balls and two strikes. So now Ryan Tanchevez, who struck out looking, or struck out rather his last time, two balls and no strikes. Two down here in the inning. Inside for a ball, three balls and no strikes now. Three balls and no strikes here as Tanchevez 
Strike is called outside a part of the plate here. Mules had runners on second and third, nobody out, and in one swing in the back, quickly two down, and a runner only on third base. Here is the pitch on the way, and a strike is called. It's now three balls and two strikes. So Jordan Penn letting us know that junior high softball, Holcomb 18, Popper Bluff 9. There's a swing and a miss, and the inning will come to a close. We'll finish that coming up. When we come back in the top part of inning number six, Mule still lead 7-1. to one. No runs on one hit, a runner left on third base. Mules lead by six. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. You're in the zone with Baldwin Toyota. Today's spotlight is the 2024 Toyota Tundra. This truck is a powerhouse with its available iForce Max engine. That's right. It's built like a champion from the ground up. Its powertrain frame and suspension work together, providing an available max towing capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. With Tundra, you can haul with confidence. Head to Baldwin Toyota and experience the power of the 2024 Toyota Tundra for yourself. And now back to Mule's action. Oh, Carmel, there's another PB Realty sign. Yes, I know, dear. PB Realty signs are everywhere. Another one, and it says Legacy Farm. Did you know PB Realty and Legacy Farm and Land Specialist have three offices in Poplar Bluff, plus offices in Donovan, Piedmont, and even Branson? This is Lucy Wheeler with PB Realty. Call me today, 573-785-7600, or my cell, 429-3243. All right, so we are back here. And the Mules now lead by a score of 7-1. to one. Appreciate the assistant athletic director, Jordan Penn, for taking care of us. Junior high softball, Holcomb defeats Popper Bluff 18-9. Junior high baseball. In the third inning, Popper Bluff now is winning 10-3 over Donovan. And we will keep you up to date on those scores throughout the afternoon. 7-1, here the score now in the top of inning number six. Bratcher swinging a miss to Chase Carter. No balls and two strikes here. Coming up on 1 o'clock here, we owe you a legal ID on the radio side of things, and we'll take that here coming up pretty quick. Here in less than three minutes. This one just fouls it away, stays alive. It does a Chase Carter. No balls and two strikes. I look out and I see all these fans with barbecue in their hand, hamburgers and hot dogs. We may decide to end our broadcast early. I may make uh, Brandon come over here and finish this out. One ball, two strikes now. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? One ball, two strikes. Having a good afternoon here on a sunny Saturday afternoon. One ball, two strikes here as Bratcher throws pitch number 77 on the afternoon. Bounces in, two balls and two strikes. 2-2 two, two the count now. We are in the top of inning number six. So Mules now lead it by a score of 7-1. to one. The Bulldogs hanging on at down by six runs this afternoon. Here is your 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. Just misses outside. Count is full now. Three balls and two strikes. Our ball game is presented by Christian Automotive and Tire Eye Care Specialist, Larry Hillis Dodge, Air Solutions, Evanson Warren and Holt Legal Services, Maverick Glass, and Senator Jason Bean. A swing and a miss. Down on strikes they go. One down here in the top of inning number six. Fourth strikeout of the ball game for Dylan Bratcher. One away, and Noah Keeney now coming in. 
Kenny moved in from right field to uh, the pitcher position last inning. So junior high softball, by the way, they've got a doubleheader lined out as well. They will play coming up at 3 p.m. There's a strike caught on the outside, a part of the plate. No balls and one strike. So junior high softball will play at 3 o'clock against New Madrid, and then the boys' baseball will play in the championship game at 4 o'clock against Dexter if they beat Donovan today. And right now they are on top by seven runs. So we'll keep you posted on that tournament going on. I believe it's going on at McLean Park in Popper Bluff today. We were told there was a big turnout over there as well. So congratulations to our boys baseball team on the junior high. Our junior high mules as they are a few innings away from getting over to that championship game against Dexter. Here is the one-two pitch on the way outside. Two balls and two strikes now. Two and two the count. This game has been going one hour and 41 minutes. We started at 10.30 today, thinking that we were going to get started at 11.15. Three balls and two strikes now. Just misses a little bit high. We had a 20-minute delay, too. We didn't get started. First pitch was not until 11.19 this morning. That's when our first pitch was. Three balls, two strikes, one down here in the inning. Bratcher comes set, and here is the payoff pitch on the way. There's a grounder. This one, what a catch by Noah Spain. High arcing jump and gets the out, took away a base hit. Now that is a highlight reel right there. What a great jump by Noah Spain, two down in the inning. So two away here in the sixth inning. I bet Paul Spain is jumping up and down right now where he's at in Tennessee. First pitch called a strike, no balls and one strike. That was a nice play by Noah Spain out there. And a strike called inside a part of the plate. No balls and two strikes here. So now Bratcher one pitch away from getting out of the inning and going to the home half of inning number six with the leadoff man coming in. And there you go. Swing and a miss. A strikeout. And the inning comes to a close. No runs on no hits and nobody left on. It'll be Hall Greenwald Dobbs when we come back and the Mules lead 7-1 to one on the Southeast Signing Graphics Mules Radio Network. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. Before we go any farther on the radio side, let's go ahead now and pause at 10 seconds for station identification on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. It is 104. I'm Frankie Castillo alongside Tim Hicks and the Mules lead 7-1 to one as we get ready for the home half of inning number six. Back on the mound, Noah Keeney, who came in last inning through 25 pitches in one inning of relief and 
He allowed no runs. So we are gear gearing up now for the bottom of inning number six. We'll see what happens here. The Mules up by six runs. If you haven't done so already, we would encourage you to hit that share button for us. We would greatly appreciate it. Coming up after this contest, whether it ends here in the bottom of the sixth inning or whether it ends in the top of inning number seven, either way, we will do a very quick post game. Won't be a long post game because another game will get going very soon between Van Buren and between West Plains. Tim and I will break, we'll end the stream, and we'll come back and we will get ready for the second game of our doubleheader. And, of course, that'll be later on today, right about 4 o'clock, 3.45, somewhere in that time frame. It all depends on how long the second game goes. So get ready for that. Plus, it'll give Tim and I an opportunity to uh, break and grab some lunch for a change. I know the Mules uh, Booster Club, the Baseball Booster Club, is doing a great job downstairs with the grill. And I plan on taking part in that coming up a little bit later on today. All right, Dylan Hall now coming up to the plate now. He is two out of three on the afternoon so far today. First pitch is high and inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes now. And we are off and running here in the bottom of inning number six. So Dylan Hall, Kobe Greenwall, and Bryce Dobbs all do up. If anybody gets on, Cade Huffman going to bat fourth in the inning. Here is the 1-0 pitch on the way from Keeney. Strike is called and one ball and one strike here. 1-1 one, one the count to the Mules leadoff man. As Hall has back-to-back -back hits, he has also scored two runs here today. He has singled back in the third and in the fourth inning, and he has scored in both of those innings as well. Here is the 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Kenny now, he is getting the sign that he wants. Here is the pitch on the way. There's a fly ball. This one, another base hit. Here's a third hit in three straight innings. Mules have their leadoff man aboard. By the way, Deanna Branch are walking in right now. We can't say a nice, enough nice things about this young lady. She goes above and beyond for the Mules program, that's for sure. I don't want her job, Tim. She outworks me day and night, let me tell you. She was here before I got here today, and that usually doesn't happen very often. Dylan Hall now leads away from first base. He takes off on the pitch, and he'll have second base. He would have had it anyway, and in frustration, DeWolf throws his glove down in frustration. One ball, I make that no balls and one strike here. Dylan Hall with a stolen base. He would have had that one no matter what. Runner now in scoring position as Kobe Greenwall won for two on the afternoon. He has doubled and scored and walked and scored. Here is the pitch on the way. The 0-1 is on the way to Kobe Greenwall. Back over to second base is not in time. By the way, Dylan Brancher, 87 pitches he has thrown in this ball game. I would assume they're going to leave him out there possibly to go ahead and finish the game. We'll see. This one fouled away. One, make that no balls and two strikes here. 0 oh, and 2 the count. Mules now with a runner on second base. They lead 7 to 1. If the Mules can add. Four runs in this inning, then the Mules would run rule the Bulldogs in six. Otherwise, we'll go to a seventh inning. Here is the pitch on the way. This one's a ground ball right to Decina at second base. Throws it over. He's safe. He beat it out. Come on, boys. That's why you hustle down the line as Greenwall doesn't take a playoff whatsoever. Runners on first and third base now. It's an infield base hit. Greenwall is on first base. So now the first two runners get on.
So now they're going to have to get a new pitcher in. I believe there was an issue with some kind of uh, substance on his hand is what they is what I, I'm reading the lips here by the umpires. I was too busy working with the scoreboard, but that's what it was. There was something on the ball, I guess. And we'll see what they do here in the sixth inning. Runners on first and third base now. Let's go to a quick timeout. And we'll come back and we'll figure out what they're going to do. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. We're going to come back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Mules up 7-1. to one. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions' comprehensive maintenance plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. Here's a quick and easy test to see if you need new tires. Insert a penny upside down, and if you see the top of Honest Abe's head, your tread is too low. If you don't, you're good to go. So when it's time for new tires, remember, Christian Automotive and Tire, keeping you safe on the road. All right, so we are back here, and I, I'm thinking I see the trainer out there now with the, the uh, player from Van Buren. I don't think it was – I don't think it's an injury. I really do believe there were there were something – some kind of substance on the ball, and they're cleaning him off, and I think he had that in his back pocket is what it is. Nevertheless, I don't – that's the only thing I can think of. And I'm only suggesting that because I heard what the player said – on his way to the dugout. And I got my binoculars on. I don't see any blood on the uh, uniform, so I'm assuming that's what it was. So, nevertheless, that's kind of where we are right now. Runners on first and third base. Nobody out. And Keeney will still be the pitcher. So the trainer working on him to make sure that uh, there's no issue there. John Plum Sr. is tuning in. He says, oh, to John Plum. I'm not going to say that, John. He says, mules are playing great. The great class of 1957. Well, John, this might make you feel old. I'm the great class of 2003. So there you go. That might make you feel a little bit older. I'm just saying. We just had our 20-year reunion a few months ago. That was a lot of fun. Got a chance to see a lot of friends of mine from back in the day that I haven't seen in 20 years. It's amazing how much older we've all gotten. A lot of gray hair, I, I'll tell you that. Lots of gray hair in 20 years. I guess that happens when you have a couple of kids, right? They give you that gray hair. Tim wouldn't know about that just yet because his kids are still pretty young, but he'll get there. He will get there very, very soon. Him and his lovely wife, Cheryl, if they don't have gray hair now, they will pretty soon, I promise you. Tim says he's on the way with that gray hair. That's why I got to keep my beard short. I used to keep my beard longer, than longer, but uh, not anymore. So we've got a very lengthy delay here, and I think uh, Keeney has walked back into the dugout maybe to get his glove. So the time clock is still a-rolling. No time limit today. We'll be here until midnight if need be. I'm just saying, Tim doesn't like that comment yeah. very much. The way they were acting, you 
So, I'm not sure if it was an injury to, I don't, I don't know what it was. So, nevertheless, it may have been an injury. It may not have been a substance on the ball. It may have been something, it may have been an injury because he is favoring his, uh, looks like his thumb on his throwing hand. So that may have been what it was, but nobody has said, nobody has uh, told us exactly what the issue was. We're just assuming that uh, we thought it was some kind of substance on the ball, but we say that because we were reading the, uh, we were reading, so we're getting clarification that it may have been maybe something on the finger. So once again, we don't really know 100%. We're just assuming because we're reading the body language and we're reading the Oh my goodness, look at that, Nate. Woo, we may go to break right now and not come back. What was that? Oh, a Mountain Dew for me, my friend. I appreciate it, we're live on the air. So what Nate has done, Nate Dobbs has brought us an amazing plate of food up here. Wow, we've got a big steak. We've got, uh, looks like some potato salad. Wow, that is awesome. Tim gets to dig in. Look at the guys over there in the other room, Tim. The uh, control room, so to speak. Tell you what, Brand, they take care of us up here in the broadcast booth. He's like, what in the world is going on? Ooh, a big steak here. To, I'll tell you what, Nate told me that uh, he was going to uh, treat us right, and that's what he is doing right now. Big old steak. I don't want to take a bite on the air. I don't think that's disrespectful, but I might do it just to see how good it is. Tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to take a bite here at this uh, pasta while they're warming up here. So, folks, stay with us here. This is live radio at its best. Kind of interested to see how this uh, pasta works here. Let's see here. Oh, that's, that's some good pasta. I'm not sure what that is, but it's spicy. And Tim says the steak is amazing as well. So here we go now. Back to live action. Runner takes off and they'll have a second base. Kobe Greenwall as he will steal second base. It is no balls and a one strike here. And a runner now on second base. Second and third. This one has popped up directly behind us. It is no balls and two strikes here. 0-2 oh the count here in the bottom of inning number six. Here is the pitch outside for a ball. One ball and two strikes. So one ball and two strikes here. Here is the pitch. Swing, and he fouls it away. Just stays alive. The fans are saying he thought he struck out, but he hit the ball. I heard it on the bat with my crowd mic. So it was the right call. It was a foul ball. Runners on second and third base now. Here is the pitch, and he holds up here. Two balls and two strikes. So two and two the count now. Two, two the count. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Outside for a ball. Three balls and two strikes. Three, two the count now. Payoff pitch is on the way from Noah Kinney. Swing and a miss. One down here in the inning. It's big out there. Oh, 
I'll tell you what, Nate Dobbs can cook a mean steak, let me tell you. He did a good job on this steak, I can promise you that. Inside, the ball gets away, it's always going to hit him. That's why it ricocheted the way that it did. Bases are loaded now. So that's why the ball ricocheted. So now the bases are loaded, one down here in the inning. And now over the head, one ball, no strikes. So one ball and no strikes. This one fouls it away. One ball and one strike now. Greg Gilberto singing praises for the head coach. John David Patillo, absolutely, my friend. Here is the 1-1 one -one pitch on the way. Outside for a ball, two balls and a one strike. And a big shout out once again to the Mules Booster Baseball, the Baseball Booster Club. As they have really outdone themselves once again here today on the grill and everything. They do such a great job with the boys. They do a good job making us feel like we're part of the team as well. Here is the pitch. There's the ground ball hit sharply. And there's going to be a race to the bag out at third. And they're going to say he is out at third on the force. He did drop the ball, but it was after the fact. So it's going to end up and be a fielder's choice at third base. So now runners on first and second base. Mule score run. It is now eight to one. It's going to go on the fielder's choice. Two down here in the inning. First pitch called a ball, one ball, and no strikes. 1 0 the count now to Noah Spain. He's got a couple of hits here this afternoon. Yeah. Just misses downstairs for a ball, two balls, and no strikes. Here is the 2 0 pitch. Downstairs, ball three. Three balls and no strikes. And now the bases are loaded with runners on every base again. So now Dylan Bratcher comes up. Two down in the inning. So Bratcher has an RBI base hit. He has walked and struck out looking as well. Thank you, Misty. The Mules, the junior high, they win here today 13 to 3. There's a swing and a miss. No balls and one strike. So that means coming up later today, 4 p.m., the junior high Mules will play for the championship at McLean Park, and they're going to take on the Dexter Bearcats. We will keep you up to date on at that ball game later on today. There's a ground ball hit sharply to Decina. He bobbles it, and a run's going to score. So Bradshaw reaches on an air. It is now a nine to one game. Now batting, number three, Ryland sees it good. So now Remington sees it good. It will be over there on first base.
can hear Coach Patillo and Coach B. So base hit will win it here. Mules now lead it by a score of nine to one. And season good, it takes ball one. He's 0 for three so far today. Season good has grounded out twice. He has struck out as well. And then he grounded into the double play earlier today. The unconventional double play, that is. Two balls and no strikes. Oh, Lori Edmondson Bussy is tuning in. Glad to have you alongside. Lori, it has been way too long, my friend. We have a lot of catching up to do, that's for sure. We haven't really spoke since ball season ended back in March. Basketball season, that is. There's a ground ball. This one gets in for a base hit. One run is in, and there is your ball game as season good drives in the two runs on the double, and the Mules are going to end up and win this ball game. Final score, 11 to 1, and season good it gets takes care of business. Two hours and six minutes into the ball game, and the Mules come away with a win. 11 to 1. Congratulations to the Mules on a big victory here. That means that the next game will be around 4 o'clock or so. The Mules will take on the West Plain Zizzers. And let me tell you, the Mules in that game, it's going to be a really good game coming up, I believe, anyway, as Popper Bluff gets their 13th win of the season. And by the way, the Mules last season only had 12 the entire season. We have already eclipsed that here today. So congratulations to the Mules on a big time win over the Van Buren Bulldogs. So let's do this. We're not gonna have much of a post game. There is a game gonna go on in between ours. I don't wanna interrupt the team. They're gonna have to get something to eat and get ready for the West Plains game coming up today. Mules final score, they go on to win today by a score of 11 to one. And the winning pitcher today for the Mules, it is Dylan Bratcher as he goes at six innings here today, two hours and six minutes is the ball game here today as the Mules get it done. Popper Bluff now goes to 13 and five on the season. We'll be back at around 345 or so. Thank you so much for tuning in. And a big shout out to Miss Bratcher, unless she wants to get on the air with me real quick. She does a great job with the Baseball Booster Club. And believe me when I tell you, this lady works harder as I've seen anybody to make sure these boys get what they need. Thank you again to our Booster Club. They are downstairs right now selling barbecue for a donation. And then, of course, the Mega Raffle. We are doing the drawings on the Mega Raffle starting right now, I believe. So it's a good time to jump off and let the mega raffle go on. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm Frankie Castile. Tim Hicks, you've been watching Mules Baseball. We'll see you back here coming up at around 345 for the Mules and West Plains. You've been watching and listening to Mules Baseball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network.